<laughs> no, that's the right button. Hey, everybody, this is Sin Speaks, and welcome to another episode. Oh, I thought we'd been recording this whole time. No, oh, no. I was explaining everything to you people because you weren't of here. Of course, I was explaining things to the. You think we explain things to people watching? Yeah, well, I mean, we they they were watching the previous episode. They don't need a full you twenty hope. minute recap of the previous episode. I mean, people, come fair. on! I've been up since five a.m. Let me live. <laughs> Just pay attention. And size, I always start every single episode of every single thing I do with three, two, one. All right, let's go. That way, no one ever gets okay, surprised yeah, and annoyed. I'm easily distracted. You're breathing to Mike again. What? I also joined. Oh, well, that's true. And, you know, I'll tell you guys when I start recording and when I don't start recording. Anyways, so we're here today. Uh, let me just erase this. We're here today with, uh,. War with Corin. I don't know why his thing is Don't make him. No one in this world knows my last name. Last name. Hey, no one in this world knows my last name. Also, That's fair. I have to ask, is Corin sick right now? Yes. Well, technically we're getting over being sick. That's why you guys randomly yeah. hear me start coughing. Horribly. Yeah, technically why I'm, I'm 100% better. I just sound like I recently freaking deep-throated sandpaper. Yes, it's just like me last episode when Ron legitimately asked if I was the same person who I was supposed to be because my voice was so low. <laughs> he was legitimately confused on who I who I was. I apparently didn't <laughs> exist as a corporeal being. Ron, how many years have you known Sin now? Like three, four. <laughs> it's not like I've gotten sick several times it's since he's so met me. Different. I am just like, hold up. Fuck are you? What have you done with Sin? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we're here with Ron, as you guys can hear. We're here with James Staxton. Or Boris, of course. We're with Loth. How the hell? Mm. And we're here with Loth, who doesn't know why she's here again. And we're here with Robin, or Megan. You know, very nice font, actually. That's a very nice font. I like it. I'm I just kind of looked it up. <laughs> I am not alone. Don't worry, Loth. You're, you're with two guys facing off against a dragon. You are alone. That's not what I was referring to. You're you're in a, you're in a sausage party surrounded by sausage while there's a dragon oh breathing down your neck. That is so not my idea of a good time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, so last episode we didn't get to Corn or Megan because neither of y'all were here. Probably because I suck at Bye. scheduling, but you know, whatever. Yeah. Uh, but anyways. So we're going to kind of sorry. Uh, so we're going to uh kind of go back into your guys's uh things. Why are there two Rons? Because stop one it, Ron. wasn't enough. Stop no, it, Ron. Like... No backy. Because set up on Stop wrong. Uh, let's use what town should I use? You know what? We're going to use the fancy town from Megan. We're going to use the nice fancy How town. Dare you? I like the fancy town, okay? You didn't use the fancy town for me, and I thought I was your best friend. Fuck you. Uh, Ron, you... you were the reason we can't have nice things. I know. Thank you, Lil. Well, clearly, so I need to try harder. Nice things. Because I deserve the nice things at this point in my life, okay? Boop. There we go. Ah. See, it's a very fancy town, okay? It's a very can't nice see anything. town. It looks like it's straight from Elder Scrolls or something. Jesus. Oh, Megan plops it looks, down right like here. It's from the Ruby say, World. Out, my magic number nine. Shockingly, it does You're actually kind of look like the Ruby World, huh? Yeah, yeah, when you say that, it does just look better. Like from my it just it just looks better. Can you see it, Megan? Oh yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, it just looks better than the Ruby. Our Ruby World sucked. <laughs> Every picture. I mean, it was just a map, so. Yeah, well, you know. I mean, every picture was kind of nice. We just made most of it. But anyways, so you land in the smack dab middle of this entire town. Uh, there is a pathway that you could see as you were guys were falling. Uh, you also recognize that there were several other people that were falling around you as well. Um, is this just a reverse of that? This? Huh, it's just a reverse of this map. 
weird. Uh, but there's a place, if you go to the right, uh, there's a entrance. But you do notice that there's uh, several people who are falling around you as well, uh, several states away from you. Um, but you're not quite sure where they went. Hmm? Don't say it like that, because it makes it sound like we're in Fortnite. You guys are not inside oh, of Fortnite? Don't meant. worry about it. <laughs> because I think that would actually be nightmarish <laughs> to be stuck inside of Fortnite. It's kind of similar to yeah, Apex Legends, that would be actually. Terrifying. Yeah. But anyways, you guys basically just like fall down. Uh, you guys can all see each other as you guys are falling down. Just you guys are falling down like the speed of a meteor. So it's kind of hard to tell anything that's around you. Uh, but as Megan, Megan lands alone. Um, like all of you guys did, uh, as you, she slams into the center of town, painfully and I don't horribly. Slam. I, I don't slam because I make a portal right underneath me and next to the ground, and I roll out. Smart. Wait, that's fucking... that's remarkably smart, actually. Huh? She, she, wait, hang on. Make a portal. Science, anyone? Yep. Wait, who? What? You, Put your science. To science her way out of this. This is true. You, you you shockingly have not only the smarts, but also the, the more or less know how how to do it. Well, without you know bashing your skull into the ground, okay, it does so first, hurt. Can we, but... can we address the elephants in the room at this point? How My name is Walrus. Oh, what do you mean how? Walrus is a walrus. Okay. <laughs> hey, she yes. just like makes a pour under her, makes a pour next to her, and then she just kind of like rolls out of it. I use the momentum of falling to roll. But hang on, can we can we address the goddamn elephant in the room? What do you mean? She has portals. It's her ability. Or maybe. That's my semblance. It's her semblance for Ruby. Because you didn't pick it. Wait, we keep our semblances? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's still wait, less wait, a degree, wait. but you can't really make portals wait, lesser. This uh, is Sit! Hold the fucking phone! Does this mean what? I can control the fucking dragon? Potentially. Holy shit! If you can beat the dragon into submission. I'm gonna oh, shoot I'm gonna beat that dragon so bad, it's gonna- Whoa! Oh my god, I'm gonna beat that dragon! Welcome to hell, Megan. <laughs> Yes, yeah, welcome back into your first episode. I've told you so many stories, but you get to live it now. Yeah. So that so that means that every single time I beat mm. a, I young beat naive up, child. Oh my god! Every time I beat up on a zombie, I could control it. I can get an army. Potentially, but they're also being controlled by something else, so it's a lot more difficult. But yeah. So what are the Grim? The Grim That's are fair. mostly autonomous life forms. That's so also they were fair. They're controlled by Salem. Anyways, let's go back to Megan here. Because <laughs> you don't exist right now. <laughs> How dare you? I do exist. Don't this is like two I weeks before anything else. All right. Men. But anyway, so Megan, you uh, managed to roll off the ground uh, from your portal, which is pretty damn impressive, honestly. Uh, but you do Thank have you. very quick reflexes. Uh, do you have anything specifically enhancing like a, your your brain i have um i have the memory thing from pokemon which all right is, you do uh, have savant. savant yeah so you can actually see things yep. in more or less slow motion so that makes perfect sense for your character <clears throat> and also blend in which i'm going to immediately <laughs> it's you just like roll out of a portal and just like hey guys and then a blend in all right. So you see a bunch of people who are walking around you. Uh, not a single person even notices anything that you just did. They're completely oblivious to you doing whatever the hell you just did. As you do see a man uh, kind of like walking up to you. He's like, hello, stranger. Welcome to our fair city. That's he looks kind of like, like a, a beggar. Leader. <laughs> Sounds like a cult leader. Be prepared. <laughs> he looks very similar to a beggar, actually. Well... Well, oh. yeah. Oh, I just realized Goodness. something. Huh? Is it where you keep your drugs? No, no, I'm just, uh, it's just something that popped into my head. It's probably a good thing I picked to have a deputy because of an ability I have from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Which one? <laughs> Synchronized Souls. Oh, yeah, right. You oh, do yeah. get more powerful with that. I forgot about that entirely. But anyways, so is, the man walks up to me. near your part, if, if you're near your Pokemon partner? Well, no, it just says, it just specifically says damage when near a partner. 
So yeah, I would assume yeah. it can it can transition. It can it can transfers uh to your other partners, although you guys don't have a whole lot of partners. But yeah, so it kind of ish like moves have around. Have each other. Oh God. Shy, oh God. Why am I doing this to you guys? But anyway, so the man walks up to you and he's like, "You must be a police officer." Uh, hi. And yeah, as I have the ability, friends you haven't met yet. Obviously, hopefully, they're a little bit nicer than me than they would be. Yeah, he's very. He's a very <laughs> nice person. He's like, "How you doing? Oh, you must be a police officer. How's your day going? You know, what what what's what's going on? Uh, did we do anything? You here for just routine checkup? Please don't kill me." Like, you know, everyone in Oregon check does. <laughs> uh, routine checkup. Um, no, but I actually don't have anything that I'm looking for right now. But do oh, okay. you have anything in mind? You seem like you kind of need uh, some help. Well, well, you know, we, we have a couple of problems with a couple of people, you know, surrounding us. Whatnot. We've had a couple of fights starting up the last couple of days and stuff. Uh, there's a police station uh, down there and whatnot, a little bit of ways. Um, if you stay here for long enough, you, you'll get the kind of the gist of everything that's going on. But uh, you seem like a competent lady. Um, I'm going to, you know, go before you find my drugs. What? Oh, well, thank you for the information about the police station. And I'll be yeah. right over there. <laughs> hey, it is yeah. is no problem. Don't go back to to my drugs. What? All right. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I also love how she looks like uh, Claire Redfield. A little bit, yeah, a little bit. Or Jill Valentine, maybe. Wait, I'm looking up this name right now. Oh, her. Yeah, yeah. Her. Oh yeah. Yeah, either okay, that yeah. or Jill Valentine. Yeah, yeah. At least bit. it's from the first game, I mean. <clears throat> but anyways, so, um, do you have any actual plans to do anything for you? You know for a fact that in two weeks, exactly, uh, there will be something extremely bad that will happen. You're not quite sure what it's oh, going to yeah. be, but something's bad going to happen, and you're also vaguely aware from a slip of paper in your pocket as given to you by the god that resides over you and watches over you, that there are other people in here who are also jumpers. You won't have fun with them. They they may or may not scar you for the rest of your existence, but, um, you know. <laughs> Two weeks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Two weeks. Well, I'm gonna, you know, go to that police station. Okay, let me just move you to the other map, which is gonna look shockingly familiar. There you go. <laughs> You know, how about this? We'll just say that the town is symmetrical on both the east and west sides. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a very it's a very nice looking town. You're not even sure how this town got so nice. Uh well it's incredibly beautiful, except for obviously the um Yeah, the horrible, horrible smog in the air, which causes you a cough every couple of minutes. It's unpleasant. In fact your eyes are stinging. Probably. Well D twenty, how how tough are you? Well, you don't have any of my stats. You don't have any of my stats, anything, anyway. Oh, wait, I forgot to give you uh, some stuff here, because everybody else is... I'm not that tough, though. I didn't put my stuff in. Oh, wait, I already gave you the all players. Yeah, so if you if you go into the macros on the top right, you should see roll d20 and roll d100. Oh, yeah. Oof. I'm not doing good. You are currently desperately trying not to die right now. You, you, everyone else looks kind of okay. You're on the ground with like your your stomach is trying to come out of you at the moment, and you're fairly certain pain and suffering. Is... I'm gonna make a portal right underneath me and teleport into the police station. <laughs> That's a good plan. <laughs> You do manage to teleport yourself in there as you're currently struggling not to die from everything that's around you. You can see the thickness of this smoke, and apparently your body hates the natural reaction of the smoke because, by God, mm -hmm. it's painful. Uh, <laughs> we're inside a police station, and there's about four people in there. Uh, two of them look like your average, everyday uh, fat cops, while another two look like really nice women. Oh. Okay. Left. Um. Died. Oh, corn left. Why corn? Oh, King died. All right. Corn, come back. Or else don't get to you. Okay. Baby, come back. Baby, come back, or I will scream. Anyways, 
the inside the police department. That's Kevin, so please. not how that song goes. Maybe come back or I will cry. Just shoot me now. That's not <laughs> the song I was thinking of. Don't worry about it. But anyways, so yeah, Megan, uh, you're inside there. You see a bunch of uh, uh people in there, uh, who all look to be going about their day, and the uh, the windows are closed, uh, clearly because they don't want any of that nasty in there. Uh, so you can't actually breathe. It's painful, nice. and you feel like you just choked on a uh, giant stick of smoke. But you can breathe. Well, um. I don't know if I look exactly the same or have the same uniform, but I'm just going to go over to, um, I don't know, a lady and ask, um, and kind of ask them, um, Mm -hmm. hi, I'm new, I'm new around here, but could you help direct me around this place? I just been stationed here. Oh, you, but you have a, uh, as this picture clearly shows uh you have a police vest which just says police on it no no particular identifiers on it um it literally just says police but apparently that that helps you blend in with every de- police department as she she looks at you for a second and she's like oh you must be the new recruit we were hearing about a couple of days ago we thought they died it gets kind of smoky well i didn't it's okay all right, well, good. Uh, well, we have a we have a couple of pro- we have a couple of things uh, going around here. As you may see, she points to the window. It's very smoky outside. She points off in the distance. This is from the seven factories that are up there. We have a lot of them. <laughs> you may know it's a recurring theme. <laughs> but yeah, so she points to the uh, the factories. We have a lot of factories. They produce a lot of smoke and other horrible, horrible diseases. That produce around the area, but that's not really what we're concerned about too often. They've been there for like Smoke thirty years. Smoke factories, mm. lots. What would of factories. happen? What would happen if we, um, if something like they ex- blew up or something? Would that make it all worse? Uh, probably. I think. Oh, let me roll the join. Probably. Yeah, we haven't already decided. We haven't already blown them up yet. They give us a lot of uh, important, you know, food and stuff. We get most of our food from those places. Also, our water tends to be um, uh, diluted from those areas. Uh, turns out, when you have those massive factories, uh, the only thing that will prevent the water from being horribly, horribly radioactive is to dilute them with other factories. I don't know why we got into this system in the first place, but it's been there for like the last 50 years or so, so we just we just kind of work with it. She holds up a slightly green ball. This is water. You want some? Uh... This is like all of our One food. second, let me look. <laughs> let me look at my, like, things to see if I have, like, disease resistance or something. Ah, <laughs> uh, you can steal Our life from her if you want to. <laughs> Uh, you do have disease resistance, oddly enough. I do have disease resistance. Yeah, impressive. It's like you knew this. So but just often. disease resistance. Radioactivity yes. isn't a disease, though. It can be. It causes symptoms. Yeah. yeah. So does living. <laughs> I think I'll go ahead and take that. Thank you. All right. Yeah, no problem. But I'm not quite uh, thirsty. Yeah, there's a couple of fights that stop every now and again, usually over food. Uh, some of them have started producing cults for some reason or another. We're not sure what they are. I think one of them was a cult to bread. I never had bread about for a while. That. I forgot about what. The cult thing. There's a lot of cults that bread. pop up. Yeah, there's a couple of cults that popped up over you know the lack of bread uh, that we've had. We haven't actually seen bread for like the last twenty years. Sin, you know I don't joke Our about bread. Our great lord gluten. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, see, Lilith just keeps stealing all the available bread. But no, uh, so all of it. No, literally all the bread in the world is hoarded in my bunker. How's what that even trick? work? How does that even work? That's not, okay, fine. Anyway, so she's she's just like we haven't seen bread for quite some time. So people started making religions to it. Um, they really like their bread for some reason. We've also had the same thing for cows, but we do see cows every now and again. Some have two heads. Those are very fun to see. They're very nice. They're very nice. Do you have any bread around this area? Ah, uh, let's see. We do not. 
In fact, I think the last point of bread that we had was sent to the uh, uh, the hospital a couple of days ago, and I think they got overrun. Oh, uh, yeah. can you tell me where that is? Yeah, yeah. Uh, she pulls out a map. Which uh, do you decide to look at the measurements uh, of the map? I mean, I do have a map of my own, and I think uh, as a police officer, I would know how to use one. So that's if, true. If it looks weird. <laughs> Then it I'll does. catch on to that. It does. It looks a little bit weird. Uh, namely, it looks like it shrunk. Like, you've seen this area before. You've been this area. You, like, kind of, like, grew up kind of, like, around Oregon and whatnot. This is obviously not where you were raised, but it's, you know, close enough, more or less. Uh, but you do notice that the entire map looks like it has shrunk by half. Exactly half, which is the weird thing, because usually when it gets shrunk, it'd be shrunk by, like, maybe a half, maybe a quarter, but no, this is exactly one half of a map that you thought it would be. It's the exact, um, buildings or anything like that, it's just instead of, like, it being 100 feet, it's, like, 50 feet. So it's literally half the distance of everything. Okay. So that so means... Zoomed in. Does that mean that houses and beds are half the size now? <laughs> no, it's, it's like they, there's just less empty space. So it's like the entire world got kind of like squished. Cramped together? Oh, okay. Yeah. That's why the factories are so annoying. Because there's more factories, <laughs> less space, more horribleness. Basically, yeah. But she's like, so the, the, the hospital's over here. You just take a left through here. You go through some of the cults and uh, you'll find it there. Thank you very much. Um, mm -hmm. I'll just... I think I'll go though, but um, thanks for telling me. Oh, and no I'm problem. just gonna tr walk around the police station. <laughs> All right, I'll I'm run the look police for the... station. Oh yeah, go ahead. No, uh, what are you saying? No, just go ahead and just mm -hmm. go ahead and describe it. <laughs> so around the police station, is not a whole lot. There's a couple of police officers there, but they seem to be uh, just literally sitting there. Some they're looking through the daily paper. Some of them are actually doing paperwork. Uh, the one that's doing paperwork look work looks like the most fit out of all of them, oddly enough, as he's just scribbling on some stuff. There's a couple of cages where you imagine you people would be put in there if they broke the law, which you imagine happens fairly often from the sounds outside, but they don't seem to care. For some ungodly reason. That's about it. That It's a very hmm. empty area. Yeah. They all okay, seem very bored. Uh, go ahead and tell me, what's the situation for getting into the weapons locker? Like, is it open <laughs> or, like, a closed area? I cannot believe I did not expect that from this group. All right. Uh, the did weapons locker me? is open. It, it, there's just a bunch of guns it's... there. It's completely open. No one's even looking over there. It's like in a different room. No one's looking. It's completely unlocked. It is the most hazardous thing you've ever seen in your life. Okay. Um. <laughs> can I... Can I make a portal that starts at one end and then slides so it collects all of the weapons and then tel teleports into my inventory? Yeah, yeah. You could do that. Yeah, I don't see why that would be a problem, yeah. <laughs> just... So I do that. You know All right. Well, you collected like an AK-47. You collected a. Uh... What was that, Corn? Your, your mic is dying. He's being simulated. It, it. The weird thing is, we're on the same internet. Ah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> The router? That's the only word I'm catching. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we absolutely <laughs> all hear you. We heard the word router. <laughs> that's, that's about it. Um, Pretty much, yeah. Dude, you want to like leave so the call? Needs and then... You want to like yeah. close Discord and pop it back up, or? Uh. Oh. The weird. We're not, we're not getting any of this. 
Dude, we're getting we're getting literally nothing of it. Where? All right, he lives in the basement. Rao doesn't like basements. This is happening for months. After the war, after the war away. you want to you want to restart your. Stop. Please don't get me started now, okay? I practice law, but I work next door. Dear God, woman. <laughs> Don't worry, Sydney, Megan, this does not happen. You right. You're lying. You are directly lying, Sin. This doesn't happen that often. Usually, Waris is yelling something with Ron. Corrin normally doesn't die this hard, okay? Yeah. After I the heard war, my name being called. And very rarely do I die. Back to New York. Loth is constantly singing slot. Hamilton, though, so that's normal. Oh, Hamilton, huh? Hamilton is good. The one yeah. thing I never listened to. How you never listen? I'm gonna make you listen to. We made Ron. No. We sat down with Ron for like two hours. We and did. I'd rather not. We made him. I'm it's so not good, a though. Shakespeare baby. It's I'm not, not a Shakespeare. Shakespeare baby. It's, it's not Shakespeare. It's not. It's not a it's... Shakespearean thing though. They yeah. actually have really good damn music. Yeah, very mm -hmm. catchy. Mm -hmm. And everybody has their favorite one of it. I think he's dying still. Is he still dying? The sister. I have multiple songs from that completely memorized. It's kind of scary. Yeah. Uh, Corin, you want to like restart your Discord and start back up? Alexander. Dude, you want? You want? Congratulations. You want to restart yeah. your Discord, Gordon? Damage you can never undo, kind of stupid. I, okay, well, we'll continue yeah, with was, Megan then. We'll continue with Megan. Anyways, kind of so, uh, yeah, Megan, so you collected like an AK-47, you collected like a Winchester rifle. I think you had one of those, did you? What did, you but have? I had a silenced one. Ah, okay, so you found a normal one. You found a uh, lot of ammo. You found a lot. Of ammo. You also found some mines, which you were slightly concerned by the fact that you just kind of dumped them into your inventory. But yeah, there's a couple of mines. Uh, you also found a couple of other guns, but they weren't too useful. You also found a gigantic sledgehammer that you're fairly certain was used to kill something recently from the dried blood on it. But it's big. It's like the size of your head. It's big. I don't know why they have a sledgehammer. No, I just need a background. Well, that may not be able to be wielded by me, but it will definitely be dropped from some height through my portal. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah, right, that's... so... Smart one. <laughs> I know. I use my portals a lot. So, Very smart. I don't really want to go back throughout that, so... <laughs> I don't know. Is there something around here that I could use as... Actually, there's got to be equipment for uh, infections or something. Yeah, I there's, wanna... uh, there's there's Fat gas mask. equipment. Uh, there's like gas masks and like especially. Well, there would be, there there would be gas mask. There is one, a single gas mask, but you're fairly certain that whoever used it last did not take care of it very well, and you're not quite sure that if you put that on, it will smell any better than it would outside. You're fairly certain it'll stop you from coughing and or dying, but the smell that's coming off of it from 15 feet away is not a joyous one. <laughs> mm, let me see what I can do about that. It works, but it's not a happy, it's not a happy thoughts. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go and go back to that nice lady that I was talking about, mm -hmm. that I was talking to, and I'm gonna ask her, um, hey, besides the gas mask that's stored in there, is there another one around here that I could borrow? Oh yeah, that was that was. Jim's I'll be taking it back here. Mask. That was that was that was that was Jim's. That we used it last time. We had a uh, cult outbreak. They uh, they didn't like Jim very much. You may notice he's not here anymore. That that was his gas mask. The other gas mask, they um. Oh, you already don't want to know what they did with them. There was uh. Oh. Jim was. Well, not I'm the sure only I don't one. want to know. So <laughs> what's? <laughs> Jim had it so... good. Jim's gas mask is the good one. <laughs> Are there, there's no others in this. Yeah, it's in this a place? long. 
Uh, well, I don't, I don't think there's any. Let me check in the back here. Let me just, let me just... Oh, we do have one! Okay, this was George's gas mask. He was the one oh, that George. ran away. Yeah, he was the one oh. that he, She points to the fat guy who was just sitting there reading his newspaper. He's the only one that actually ran away from that thing. And, um, well, I would be lying if I said I wasn't envious of what he got to do. She gives you his gas mask. It's very nice. It's very clean. It's uh, not yes. form-fitting onto you, and it's it's not pleasant to wear, but it's clean. I it only smells like Cheetos. Or something. Yeah, it smells oh. like Cheetos. That's a so, I think there might be like a Febreze around here or something. <laughs> If at least they have, they, one thing that they have is Febreze. All right, they have guns and they have Febreze. Really? Wait, do you have a Febreze? I'm gonna ask her. Oh yeah, yeah. We stock up on on Febreze every couple of days. You know, she reaches out and grabs one. It smells like lemons. Uh, we have a lot of Febreze over here. We have lemons. We have watermelon. We stock up on a lot of those and guns. Why would you take the lemon one? Why would you take the lemon? Because it smells good. Do you, yeah. No one. You know what? You, you want know you what? want a yeah. that smells good, you get apple. Uh, how dare you? you do apple? <laughs> because apples smell nice. You know, you know what? You know what? Apples are the only ones they don't have. Okay, you know. Um, <laughs> hmm? uh, um, I'm gonna ask them. Do you have any other, uh? For reason here, because I don't know, just one isn't enough for this mask. <laughs> we have, when she opens up the door, and there's just a stockpile, okay, of Febreze. There is so much reason okay. there that this smell is overwhelming. I'm gonna go ahead and close that door and say thank you. Um, I might come back to this, and I'm gonna make a si silent portal inside of there and collect all of the Febreze. Jesus Christ, <laughs> Your backpack smells really nice now. That's great. Someone else is gonna get it smell really, really nice when I unleash this on them. Jesus. You have like a Febreze bomb in your back. Well... <laughs> I'm just gonna put on my gas mask and I'm gonna smile and wave to her and say thank you for helping me out and I'm gonna go like I didn't take everything. Good job, Megan. Stop. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing. <laughs> oh, wait, I should have stopped for the medical stuff. I'm gonna go back in and see if they have like a medical cabinet. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm gonna ask. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? I have. Oh my god! That's medical equipment. <laughs> she just goes back in and takes. Oh, it. I just I just portal back in because I thought that I left, and I'm gonna find the medical ward, and I'm gonna take all of it. All of it. Right. <laughs> it's for the natural twenty. <laughs> So, Megan's a proper thief. I steal hats, and Kane messes with OCD people, is what's being set up here. Yeah, I'm a proper thief. I'm crying. Oh my god. I just hoard all of the bread in the entire world. So, how much, how much drugs do I got? Can I just say all of the drugs? So you walk how in much there. drugs do I got? Halfway. How much drugs do I got? Nice. Oh my god. So you walk, so like, you pour one there. And the funny thing is, you pour one there directly in front of like a fifth person who's just kind of staring at you. And like, oh, hi. Hi. I'll smile and wave. Hmm. Uh, Stay to you. Are you here for something? And we, we got, we got some medical supplies. We've got like the guns and whatnot. You seem, you seem pretty confident and you know, competent and about everything, you know. Thank you. Drugs. I'm not actually so confident, but I'm just trying to get my bearing around here. I'm just trying to get some um, meds, ah. not for anything. But I scraped, I scraped my arm not too long ago, and I'm afraid it's gonna fester. Ah, she so. puts her hand on your shoulder. My dear child, you have come to the right place. As she opens up like a door to the medical supplies, there's a lot of drugs. 
there's 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 there's, there's a lot of drugs. There's, there's she takes drugs. if she takes my hand, I'm gonna put my hand on top of her hand and be like, "Thank you so much. <laughs> I'll I'll find the stuff that I need." But thank you. You're I don't want to bore you with with the time that I'm gonna take to find this. So inside this <laughs> world could... that we're in, with the murder and the rampage, is good to see That's... someone so pure, so kind-hearted. She sits back down and starts working on a uh, crossword. Mm, seven across I go ahead and, and says nope. cheese. Is. I'm just gonna take everything. God. Just walk in, you place to pour, you're just like, I right, don't take you, take you. I don't even know what the fuck your name is. Take you, take you. <laughs> just... I think this is a name for a disease. I take this. <laughs> Biological weapon? Why do they have that in your- I don't care. No. Alright, so. so you successfully managed to take every gun, every medical thing, every Febreze that they had for no- Are you gonna steal their food, too? Oh, wait. <laughs> uh... Actually, yeah, do you steal their food? Yeah, we, I yeah, don't we know. need that. I mean, don't we have, like, those kitchens in our bases, though? No. I mean, I mean, a few yes. of you guys who took, do. Who, who took that? Wait, who a took that? A few of you guys did I do. I mean, I think you do. I think Lola did. I think Warren did. Mario I took room. it. Yeah, you you I have an entire, you have like an infinite supply Take of food. You steal it from them would just food. be mean. They don't have bread. I can't, I, there's no use for it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to steal everything they care about except for their donuts. Yes. <laughs> they have donuts. Fucking they do, they have donuts. donuts, especially if they're from meshes. You're a cop. <laughs> Wait, are there? Okay, fine, fine. Look, I take some donuts, but I carry them out, and as a thing of goodwill, I distribute one to everyone in that in that place. Wait, so you portal out, and then you portal back no, no, in. No, I walk you out. Steal... I walk out. Like, like you, yeah. you, you walked out, you pulled back in, you stole all their medical supplies, you grabbed donuts, so you started walking out the same way you already walked out. Yeah, just with and a just... smile. And I start giving them some donuts. Like, I haven't left at all. <coughs> so, You're my like, new favorite player. It's gonna player. be a long day. <laughs> Alright, so you've d managed to successfully wow. distribute... Thanks, well, you know, they managed to successfully, successfully distribute the donuts that you just stole from them. <laughs> Keeping some Each for yourself. Each time, yeah. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> obviously, I have, like, one hidden away in the box that I'm not going to give. But I'm saying to each one, like, it's going to be a long day. Here's just something sugary to, to get you through it. And then after that box is gone, I'm just going to walk out the door with my gas mask on and then, like, toss the box over my shoulder. And then, I don't know. I think you are legitimately just what I would do in this game. <laughs> you ju okay. you just stole from unsuspecting helping people for no reason. <laughs> you are go crazy such anyway. a nice player. <clears throat> All right. Anyway, so you managed to walk out. You got God knows. I don't even know how the amount of guns that you have right now fits in your bag, but it does because you have God on your side apparently. <laughs> So I have Stole. a portal inventory. You have a bag of holding, so yeah, you pretty much have just a bag have a... of holding. Yeah, I think well, we all basically have a bag of holding. You all have two bags of holding, actually. <laughs> Typically, just yeah, stuff yeah. one bag of holding into the other bag of holding because you can. You know, you know what that means. That we have it's still dying. I can't hear you. You want to just type it, Corin, in the chat? It might be for the best. Yeah. Rag. I think it's trying to catch up to him stopping talking. I mean, that's all the the all the plans that I had. So if like Corin, yeah, Corin wants to go. Yeah, yeah. You you want you want, you you just give us. Don't put bags of holding in bags of holding. That's what Ron would do, okay? Anyway, so, yeah, you, uh, you just spend the next, you know, couple of weeks, uh, you know, investigating some stuff, breaking up some cults, beating poor senseless people to death because they were cultists. Wait, what? 
probably innocent. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I would if, beat up anyone. You if protect they're yourself. Cultist, I don't think they're innocent. They could be innocent. You know, they could be. They could be poor bread cultists. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna beat up anyone because I'm gonna be lurking around in the shadows. But I'm gonna huh? put portals underneath their feet and then make portals up in the air. And see so how you're they not deal beating with that. people up. You're causing them to beat themselves with the ground. Yes. Yes. I can respect that. Your morals are so skewered. <laughs> they're not though, because they're bad people. That's that's fair. Uh, so Corin, if you but just you want to like type out <clears throat> what you've been doing for like two weeks now, so <clears throat> sorry, I'm dying. Uh, but yeah, Corin, if you want to just, like, type out what you've been doing for, like, two weeks or so inside of your little town, which we'll move, uh, is in the town of, uh, this, this, this place. This is his town. To say it. The town of this place. Oh, right. Yes, the, this is, this is Corin's town where he is a respected gentleman, uh, using his authority figure. He's just, he's a respected person, kind of. He also knows surgery, double tap, repairman. Yo, it's also a smith. He's a, he's a smithy. Uh, you, you want to type inside the Wolf 20 chat, Corn? Make it easier for us. But anyway, so he's just a, he's just a smithy inside of a treehouse land. Uh, he's a, he's a gentleman. Uh, a respectful gentleman. Uh, and yeah, that's what he does for like two weeks. So, back to, I don't know, everybody. Uh, just drag some stuff over. Nope, that's the that's the. Could you stop double clicking for twenty freaking seconds? Seriously, <laughs> stop it! I just stop it. There we go. He does nothing illegal except for make a illegal thing. <clears throat> but love your son. That about sums up Corin. Honestly, he does nothing illegal except for this illegal thing. Very much, yeah. So, uh, Megan, you have a, uh, a, a, a truck, but you, you, like, spend a while in the, in the, in the shadows, and by the time you're, you know, two, almost two weeks are up, uh, the, uh, police officer inside a place, who's a very nice female one, uh, was talking to you, and nice. she's, yeah, you know, after you stole all of her stuff, and not a single person knows for two weeks, she's like, you know, it, you've been doing a lot of good around this town, you've been, you know, helping us out a lot and whatnot, uh, Jim hasn't oh, moved from that you. spot for, like, two weeks now, it's pretty impressive, I'm, I'm pretty impressed, uh, so we decided to pitch in and, uh, get you something, she shows you a you nice didn't. truck, you didn't, it's a nice truck, it's a really nice truck, oh my goodness, it's also armored, that's, that's so nice of you, I can't yeah, even well, understand, you know. and I'm thinking to myself, yeah, uh, I'm thinking to myself, like, huh, I remember seeing the keys to those, but I didn't grab those. <laughs> yeah, no, right? it's, just, it's an armored truck, you know, very sturdy and whatnot, and we decided to gift mm -hmm. you this because uh, we're not ever going to use it because we don't leave this place. But you seem you seem to be pretty competent, you seem to go around a lot of places, we decided to make your life easier, you know, have, have the truck. Thank you, um, I'll make sure to take care of it the best that I can. Yeah, th you know, thank you for all the hard work that you've done. <laughs> Thank you, random citizen. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so um, yeah, you, know, you get your truck. It's pretty nice and whatnot. And they decide to take around your ride. I'm assuming you go out to the countryside or something. You know, have you um, find a nice house? I might as I might as well. I mean, I don't know. I'm thinking about since I can portal. I'm like kind mm -hmm. of too. You portal the truck. Here's the, idea. the Here's whole the thing, though. Truck. Can you make portals big enough that the truck can drive through? If so, then I mean, we need to talk. I have a, I have a chakra. I mean, a chakra that I throw through my portals, so it has to be big enough for that. Yeah, yeah, and it's that's like, bigger than me. You, you, your so portal is, is probably chakram, the size look it up. of look like up the your chakram. head. Is it that chak? Um, is, is it those circle chakram. things that you can throw? Yeah, I know. They're like they're very the kind spell. of big. Yeah. So they have about mm -hmm. your circle has about a uh third uh, a twelve to thirty centimeter radius, roughly. So it's about the size of your head. Oh it's yeah, it's like a it's like a hula hoop, but like smaller. So it's like about yeah. the size of your head. You stretch it a little bit, but yeah. Oh yeah, you also have a spinning blade of death. What is the like, spinning blade use. of death? Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you just she literally she literally has a spinning blade of death. Ooh, 
I like. Yeah. Loth, stop hanging on. <laughs> I am <Too> not. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, so. I actually um, wanted it to look more like this, but. Ooh. Where it's like bigger than me. Ooh. Okay, so in that case, it's about the size of your torso. And it yeah. collapses, though, so it fits in my mouth. Yep, very easy. Wait, uh, so, you know, on your last day, it's been about almost two weeks now. Yeah, about one day left or so. Uh, what are you going to do with your last day? Ah, oh, that thing, okay. How does it not kill you? Competence. Uh, I'm proficient. Yeah. You're competent? Huh? Yeah, she, like, she, like, that? spins it with her hand, and she guts people. What is Probably. competency, though? Uh, being good at something. I mean, I guess I saw the other person. I saw them portal down, so I guess I'll be driving over there to the next city. Oh, good, okay. They <laughs> roasted a, a, a snail. What? Why would they roast the snail? Because Wouldn't that's you? a thing that French do. Why? They, they pour they salt on the snail. Then they salt, they saute them in butter. There's a difference. But. Why I'm glad though? you know the difference between roasting a snail and sautéing a snail. I'm glad that we have in you are a team. Butter. <laughs> yes, with butter. <clears throat> anyway, so you you get into your truck. You decide to travel to wherever he is. Uh, hopefully he's still there. You're fairly certain that if he's not there, it's just a very long trip to do nothing. But you hope he's there. And uh, by the time he gets there, you you have your radio on, kicking back, and all that other crap. And you have the radio on and whatnot. And you hear about all the zombies popping up over town. As obviously it takes you about probably a day to go there-ish. Maybe a little bit less than a day. You know what's going to be funny though? Huh? She's going to be competent until she meets us. And then it all goes downhill. <laughs> Wasn't that what like was the entire thing? <laughs> you stole everything. Yes. It was quite impressive. But yeah. Um, I was that competent. <laughs> have you met our team? You will. I no, she hasn't yet, actually. You will. You will. You will find out how that's competent you will very figure quickly. Out why? Why we have to be absolutely crazy with our stuff to better even get by in any of our games? Because me and Walrus <laughs> together, we make ultimate bad luck. They have pelvic thrusted a god, and won. Well, oh, yeah. Walrus has. Yeah, Ron has just me, broken I'm... an unbreakable sword and lit a poor innocent yeah, forest creature on fire. And also Have you told her the Magikarp story? Oh god, yeah. I've told her so many Magikarp stories. That was the stories. first story. That was the first freaking story. Why would that be the first one? Because, because it's the first one I tell everyone. This is it got her to like this. Like you said. It's the best one. It's, the, it's literally the only joke that we've had that's run that's been running through the whole series. Dude, did I ever tell you guys well, about me walking? I still can't hit anything. <laughs> That's true. Did I ever tell you guys about the time that I walked up to someone and they told me I ruined magic herbs? Yes. Yeah, I remember that, yeah. I think Megan, you were you there were for that. Freaking out. Lovely. <laughs> well, I told that, yeah. But anyways, so uh you you um get into your car, you start driving over there. It takes you about a day ish. Uh maybe a little bit less than a day, but about a day ish to get out to corn. Uh but the main thing you notice is uh corn, I'm assuming you're like running out of there or something of that sort. Because, you know, zombies appearing as she's driving towards you. No, you're still dead. That is not gonna work. You won't, you won't just type in the World 20 chat? You are still so dead. Hi. Proceeds to die. No, you're still pretty dead. Instantly, the moment he comes back, it's just alien. It's just like it, look, look, we're man, on look, the look, same look. internet too. You want to just like turn off your internet, turn oh. back on or something? Yeah, yeah, that explains it. You're sucking up all the internet from him. I can guarantee That's you, not... I'm not. <laughs> that is how it works, though. I will touch you, Ron. Look, <laughs> dead. Such a threat. <laughs> No, you're still very dead. Why is it that the first threat is like, I will touch Because people don't like me touching them. Megan can't test this. But anyway, 
<laughs> I won. But anyway. I'm gonna be right back. <laughs> All right. All right, you're good. We'll just, just move out I to uh, the horrors of whatever the hell is going on with these three. Oh, that's You guys are facing down a dragon. The only thing you guys can say for yourselves is, "I have bread." I have plenty of bread. from a really bad sci-fi movie. <laughs> this girl sounds so <laughs> bad on <laughs> recording. You I can't wait to do time. this episode so you can see just how bad his voice was. <laughs> you want to see what I'm doing right now, Sin? Uh, if you, you want to. Okay, look. My mind went to the wrong place. Don't ever Ron! No, that's for her boyfriend. Ron, you know what? Here, yeah, you can all see. Qualitative <laughs> analysis. So I might like it. What the fuck is all this? What she's doing, I guess. Uh, the, she's apparently doing math. Uh, no, not math. Okay, she's dealing with highly complex uh, chemicals, which she is shatting on. Uh, well, you guys are facing now a dragon. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the thing. One of you guys is stealing amazingly... From innocent people, and the other people are hoarding bread. Oh, I bread. was promised brisket, and I was lied to. <laughs> Don't she worry, has brisket for you. Brisket, right? I do. There I am is in brisket. the corner, just laying down, defeated because just, there's more bread. Y'all are than both brisket. like freaking out about the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are freaking out about the dragon. You just watch me like grab an apron and start cooking brisket and <laughs> potato salad. No, I don't care about the dragon. Screw the dragon. The dragon, I will hug. <laughs> don't try me. Sin can attest to this. I will go out there and hug the dragon. Try Please me. Don't. The dragon will it eat will. you, and then you'll make friends with it. I walk outside because I'm it's good at fluffy. making dragons. I well, will hug the dragon. But here's the thing, though. Actually, would the dragon even care about him? Because wouldn't it also be classified along with the zombies? No, uh, the, no those are zombie dragons. That's what happens when a zombie murders a dragon. We're also fighting. The dragon is currently murdering a bunch of zombies, eating them, burning so them, lighting them on fire. Huh? It is a living, breathing dragon. It like is an, an actual, actual gigantic, like, 40-foot-tall dragon that's flying, breathing fire, and eating people. Ah, so it's not, it's not like one of those dragonborns. It's not like one of those lizards. It's not like one of those tiny baby dragons. No, it's a full, giant, red dragon. This man here is fucking moonwalking right now. Fucking smooth criminal. <laughs> oh, you mean Warris' character? No, it, I'm playing Zelda. And this oh, man okay. is just like, this man is just on, 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 a, on, a, on an axis. Hi, it's a giant me. Why is there a giant me? Because I'm making moonwalk. I did, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. I, I'm just making it happen, okay? <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. I meant in the car. Uh, fuck off. <laughs> wait, wait. I so walk outside. There's... I have the random dead bits that things don't bug me. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the dragon does not pay attention to it. it. does not even register your existence as it's currently lighting like 27 things on fire, stomping on a lot of them, and eating them. All you right. may notice there's so a massive horde of zombies. Instead. I will walk through the horde of zombies and I will start looking for a napkin. Okay. So, first thing I want to do is I, I want to go over there and I want to slap the dragon across the face to try to get it on my side. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's that's a thing. <laughs> All right. Warris, you managed to find a single napkin that has a single word written on it that simply says, 
Ow. Is there a dead body nearby? Yes. I go sit by the dead body, put the napkin back in its lap. I pull out a drink I and I start drinking. Jesus Christ. Lilith is just singing, I won't be in the room where it happens while she's making brisket. All right, anyway, so back to Megan while she's here. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to be in the room where that happens. Like, straight <laughs> up, I don't want to watch a man die, you psycho. Oh, can we, um, can, can, can we, we need yep. to establish something, though, here. We need yes. to understand something. Is the dragon female or male? Oh, Jesus you are Christ. Not no. Do not answer that question say it's like what did you want it to be <laughs> y'all know the answer to that question your alpha or your omega yeah y'all y'all know the answer to that question everyone who's played with Ron knows the answer i'm about to give to that question <laughs> the answer is hopefully no the answer no. is this female <laughs> Yes! Perfect. No, Ron, you cannot fuck the dragon. <laughs> I do not plan to fuck the dragon because, for one thing, I wouldn't be able to get it in there. I would have to call my own self into it for it to even feel anything. I mean, to be fair, Wars did that on the other end, but, you know. What? Fluffy was a nice <laughs> dragon. <laughs> That's a different campaign and a different character, Sim. And a completely it's different And works. I went down his throat to pull out a giant thing of obsidian stuck in its stomach. I did not pull a Ron. I did not try to elude the dragon. No. I got eaten I by the dragon and proceeded to pull out plan. something out of its stomach okay. and then left. I oh, don't good plan days. to elude the dragon, alright? Mm, I, good don't plan... I don't believe you. I plan to get the dragon on our side. And the fact that it's female, I have a better chance of it. You better. No, you don't. <laughs> Do, do not mount it, but I have to mount it to be able to ride it. Wait, that still doesn't sound right. Jesus Christ. All right, back with Megan while well, we have the time. Uh, so, Megan, uh, two weeks prior to whatever the hell is happening here, <laughs> just two weeks prior, uh, you're currently driving over to where Corin is. Uh, and, you know, I'm assuming you have the radio on and stuff like that. And, you know, Corin, are you, like, running away from your... You know, village of zombie eating things. Garn. Garn, you, you there? Oh, okay, you're typing. Shoot man, sure. Shoot man. I'm vaguely catching this. I'm, I'm vaguely getting it. I'm. Nope. Nope. Not a single person is understanding a single thing that you just said. Not a single word has processed through our earrings. Unfortunately. Gosh darn goggle golly dang it. Right, anyways, so uh you, know, you have you have your music you have your you know your radio on, uh Megan, and you're driving through mm -hmm. you know the countryside and whatnot. And you just see a man start screaming as he's just running down the path with like I don't know what gun he has. Do you have a gun? Um I'll okay. portal him and and portal in front of him and in the second the shotgun of my He's like I do not scream. Chuck. So what do you do? Do you yell in a in a most manly uh, scream? He, he yells <laughs> like a boxer. I he war cries. Swing for the jaw. Wait, what is this? After I portal you inside of the truck? <laughs> okay, so, so you <laughs> him and he's going for the punch, and he just. Okay, so <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll keep driving, but I'll I'll put a hand up as if like um Blocking. wait. Um, and kind of surrender, say, wait, 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 um, Don't sorry, that punches. was really fast. <laughs> sorry, that was really fast. Um, don't hurt me. I saved you. Must not be a zombie. 
I mean, I can also talk, too. But, I mean, wait, can they talk? You could try. You must not be a Zomboni. <laughs> you hear on the radio, uh, kind of like explaining that uh, zombie, uh, that, uh, sorry, in the, in the words I said last time, boys and girls, the apocalypse have come. It may, you may be thinking like our entire, you know, social uh, experiments will die and everyone is dead. But no, no, uh, Australia, it lit on fire. Kind of, it was like a green fire, but we assume that it's just you know fire. Uh, and um, yeah, the 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 apocalypse happened. You may be thinking, is it like dragons? Nah. Is it like like werewolves? Nah. Is it like unicorns infecting the entire world? Nah. Is it like aliens trying to kill us? Nah. It's zombies. It's, it's also dragons. It's just the zombinos. Have fun. We're all um, going to die. You then hear massive amounts of screaming yay. on the radio. I turn off the radio because I don't need to hear any more of that. <laughs> I'll respond. It's just, like, it's just like the most casual. Well, I'm gonna die, and it just screams. I turn that off. <gasps> I'm gonna die. Dying for pansies. Right, so I'm, I'm assuming. I use the same word. Are, are you are you driving still towards his town, or are you like stopping in the middle of the road, or are you? I'm gonna probably change roads. All right, that's probably a good plan. I you, wouldn't you just... call myself a pansy, but I'm not going to go back to the place pansy. you ran away from. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, he is now inside of your car. Uh, yes. Too far in the you know, which is going on. There we go. Uh, that That's what we're doing with this character, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, how did you get in here? Don't you remember? I, you got in here. I stopped for a second. <laughs> yeah, you were kind of falling around. You were kind of falling around and blacking out, so I had to haul you inside of here. Oh, but it's Jesus. okay, because we're, we're, we're still moving. Yeah, there are yeah. Uh, a lot. There are... Whew. God, there are a lot of zombies around you. There are a lot of zombies. There, there's I didn't call anyone that. <laughs> Actually, there's no one else, I guess. Yeah, there, there's hordes. Of, there's, there is hordes of zombies. There's like hundreds of thousands of zombies. You guys you are like seeing past land? the country. Yeah, kind of like zombie land. Zombie land. I have actually seen oh, you poor land. girl. All right, have we'll I take we'll take one? any kind no. of zombie movie. Have I seen the second one? Yes. But you need to watch the first the one. How dare you! Don't don't spoil it. Wait, wait. Didn't some you... wasn't some? Yeah, yeah. Shy was looking for uh, Twinkies. Yeah, that's part of the thing, by the way. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that was part of a reference to it that we're doing. Yeah. So the um, you 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 can see like out like like the countryside. It's a nice countryside, if not for the hundreds of thousands of zombies that are stockpiling on top of each other, hitting the roads and whatnot. In fact, the amount of murder that you've done so far by just driving is obscene. But you know, it's it's a lot. It's a lot of murder. It's a lot of murder. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and um. Hey, you know, I don't think we've actually exchanged names yet. No, no. You guys just been driving and um, murdering zombies. All you've done. Zombies! <laughs> Zombies! Zombies! William. I'm Robin. Nice to meet you, William. Do you know a a river around, or like a port or anything around here or something that has like <laughs> ships or something? It, there's a, a... Mostly countryside. Yeah. You guys do vaguely recall uh, one of the sparks of light uh, being over here, roughly in this direction. It'll take you a long time to get through all these zombies and uh, everything like that. But, you know, it's the potato state, not the, <laughs> the war state. But yeah, uh, the port states. But it take mm. you guys a little, a little while to get down to the... Um, uh, to New New Mexico, wherever that may be, um, or Texas. I want to stop. I just want to stop. You know, at these places. Mm -hmm. Let's go All to right. line, and we'll eventually get there. Yeah, yeah. You guys, uh, you know, travel for quite some time. Actually, uh, Mars, what? Mars, Mars, Mars you... I'm scared. Does <laughs> anyone <laughs> understand me yet? Hey, yeah. we can hear you. Uh, 
Wait, just traveled seriously? in two weeks. The entire yes. of the is We can you finally know? hear the cane. Yeah, yeah, we can finally hear you. So, uh, so well, as soon as I start doing a freaking, as soon as I start doing filthy Frank's voice, I suddenly start being able to be heard again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Megan, if you can do me a favor and roll a d20, please. Thank you. Good okay, okay. it's not going to be good. Nope, I knew it. You you have as good luck as Lilith has when she's trying to hit literally anything Shut on this up. planet. Is this just going to be a common running, th- a running gag with all of the women? The women just oh, can't dear hit for shit. So, as you guys are traveling from area to area, uh, the first thing that you guys know us is that the first town you guys decide to go into is smack dab in the middle of zombie land territory. And there's very little ways to get around the place because uh, literally for like miles to left and right, there's just massive burning uh, oil spills of trucks and cars and planes. A couple of planes have fallen down around you guys as well. It's a lot. Goddamn. Nice. Yeah. Uh, how far can I portal myself to? You can pour yourself into the town. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Wait. you can pour yourself oh. into the town. Enough to other places. Huh? I mean, like other states, because I did have that um, that thing that's overflowing aura, and my oh, you do it have says that. my my aura yeah far exceeds the limit of what is typical. Mm-hmm. I have five Let's times see. as much. You do have four cents as well, so you can see God. Damn everywhere as well. Uh, you also have Rush, which allows you to just start pumping your adrenaline stupidly high. So you well could just start blasting portals out. I'll make you very tired, but huh? Can she teleport between states though? She can teleport over 400 feet in one thing at a time. So you could like teleport yourself past like town after town after town and whatnot, just like blasting it. It'll make you very tired, but you could probably get like halfway through the state if you really want to in like a couple of hops. Uh, I a might as well, fire. but I'll make the portals like really close together so it looks mm-hmm. like it's, you know, <laughs> you're just barely any change. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. looks like you're driving it like... <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with this. Uh yeah, the amount of zombies that were inside that sea, by the way, it was like a massive sea as well as like probably the wherever the place capital of this state is. I don't even know what state that is. Oh, oh these places really come and go. I Which just didn't notice how small it was. Sense? What? Which state were you clicking on? That one. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know what state that is. It's a it's a square. Yeah, it's one of my favorite no. states now. Um, what state's above Colorado? How? Why are you asking me? No. I well, I don't even Colorado. know what state is the ones other than mine. Yeah, I mean we have Oregon right you here. Send both. I we have Oregon right states. here, and then Oregon, we have I don't care and hunger. Yeah, we've we've Oregon right there, and then we have who knows, who knows, something, uh, another thing, uh, New Mexico and Texas and Louisiana, and who cares? How dare you? I was right. It's Wyoming. You didn't say Wyoming. You said I said it in my Colorado. head. I didn't want to say it out loud in case I was wrong. Well, that's good. Well, yeah, you just passed the state of uh, the 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 capital of Wyoming because apparently they have one over there. There's a lot of Wyoming. Wyoming has like nothing in it, so let's yeah. Just... Wyoming was the right state. Was the first state to give women the right to vote. Oh, that's good, good for them. No shit. So yeah, it's mostly an empty, empty state, which is why you can see literal. It's like if there was an ocean, but it was zombies. Good thing we passed that. Yeah. Yeah, there's still like an ocean of zombies in front of you, but by God, that's a lot of zombies. Sin. Hmm? So, uh, you do still have your part... fuck you cannon. That's not where I was going with this, but God, uh, thanks for the reminder. <laughs> I'm just gonna casually kind of shift around and be like, Ugh. so, uh, yeah? I've got super senses. Oh, yeah, you both so, do. Yeah. um, this teleporting thing has been really weird. Oh, portals, huh? sorry, you you caught on to that. Well, it's not it's really like teleporting, it's just portals, so... 
that's basically teleporting. Basically, what I wanted to know was, I have gravitomancy. Do you want me to just turn, just change gravity so that we can literally f fly the car? Let's do that. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't want to drive through all of these zambonis. You might rupture a colon, and you will not get the smell. Oh my goodness. Yes, let's just chitty chitty bang bang this. <laughs> Sin, what did you roll for? I don't want to know this answer. Somebody wants to fuck a stop sign. I want to see what your luck would be. What now? I, I, I want to see what your luck would be in the skies. Uh, you don't want to be in the skies. <laughs> well, too bad. Besides, jive, jive. you would have said the exact same thing on 20. <laughs> no, if it was a 20, I would have been, alright, you guys can fly, I don't I don't care. No, that that was, I was seeing specifically whether or not you guys were going to get attacked. Uh, 20 would have been, you guys, you guys sailed free, I would have just moved over to Ron. Yeah, we had some 20s on luck that uh, led to horrible things happening during the last campaign. Either way, yeah, it doesn't fun. matter. I have my gut. Sin. We get it. Yeah. A it 20, a 1. Don't worry. They, it'll end badly for us either way. So yeah, there, I brought there's... my gun. Yeah, uh, your gun is bigger than the inside of the car, by the way. You have a very then big gun. I... How are you holding the is gun? Truck? Is it a yeah. truck? Yeah, it's a truck. It is a truck. It's then an armor truck. Get on the bed. Oh, so Megan, you, you just can... feel the yeah. light, the the weightlessness of the car slowly moving to the sky. You hear an ungodly amount of roaring behind you. You don't really want to look in the the rear of your mirror. You're fairly certain this is the sound of death uh, approaching you from a high velocity, because uh, you're in the air and defying the uh world, the ways of the world. Uh, as uh, the, you, your, your passenger, all sorts of things fly. Yeah, well, okay, yeah, but cars don't. As your passenger just kind of grabs the window, rolls it down while you guys are like a hundred feet in the air, starts climbing out of the window, hops onto the back of the car, and pulls out a giant fuck you stick, which you're fairly certain is actually a gun, but really the only things you use that on are things you say fuck you to. <laughs> So it's a giant fuck you stick. As he just starts to shoot. And you also Great. then realize what he's shooting at. Which is a horde of dragons. Which are lighting the zombies on fire under you. Won't be a horde after I'm finished with it. Oh my god, somebody wants to fuck a water bottle? What? Yes. What does that have to do with this? Why though? Why? Why how, the, how is that even close to being in this existence? Wait, 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 wait. I have to ask, is fire an organic weapon? Because it can't hurt the tree. Fire is not organic, I am afraid. A tree though, a tree is organic. Wait, wait. So if you if you hit a dragon. The dragon would not let you go on fire. If you went through a dragon's fire, the car would be lit on fire. <laughs> okay. But Sin, so... here's an idea, though. Huh? Would rocks be considered organic? No. Why let me ask my best be friend. Organic? Rocks are organic. Ro rocks are rocks, man. <laughs> of course they're okay. They're rocks. What? They're earth. Okay. They're the so earth. He's... Yeah. I can drive my car into a mountain and it wouldn't get and it wouldn't get hurt. Oh, Sin, do, you, do you know the definition of, of rocks? No. A giant boulder could fall on my. Sin, head. Yeah. you know how geology is your least favorite science? Yes. One of my friends got roped into taking a geology course for their science course. Oof. Sin, I, I, okay, I relating to or deprived yeah. from living matter. Well, technically, rocks can be like fossils or something. Anyways, I don't care. Uh, so what are you saying, Megan? You you watching this guy um, crawl out? So of window. he's yeah. Get, can you give me the description of what's happening again? So our truck is flying, and I hear something behind me. Mm -hmm. You hear the wars of but what you assume far. is death. Uh, approaching you as you are defying the laws of nature at the moment. Uh, as as you just look to your side and you try to make conversation, I guess, with a man who just made your car fly. Uh, not the weirdest thing you've ever done. As he just starts I'm crawling sorry. out of the window. <laughs> huh? Middle window, yeah. Yeah. 
crawls out of the window and you look in your rearview mirror and you see him pull out what can only be described as a fuck you stick, which is a ginormous. Uh, Corin, explain your fuck you stick. You ever seen a Mosin Nagant? No, but I'm about to look it up. Mosin Nagant. I didn't spell that right, but hopefully. Yeah, it, oh well. That's a, that's a gun. That is a gun. That's oh, a gun. wow. <laughs> It's a gun. I love that reaction. It's a <laughs> big sniper. A gun in the freaking police station. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it's 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 big. It looks like a thing you would kill aliens with. And this one, the this ordinary one is, one's about yeah. four feet. This one's about five foot four. Mm. Yeah, it's big. It's big. And you also start shoving in bullets, which you swear are the size of your head. No, only the size of a forearm. The forearm's the size of the head. Oh my goodness, what just happened? Did... Yeah, I'm talking... Okay. I mean, like the length of your head. I don't know how thick... I don't know how thick <laughs> your forearm is. Popeye the Sailor Man. Oh my... <laughs> Um, Anyways, so he starts shoving in bullets, which are the size of his entire forearm, which kind of scares you. And then you see oh dragons. Oh, dragons? Yes, you see dragons? a lot of dragons. You see like dragons. seven dragons behind you. You're pretty sure that's okay. where the roar of death is coming from, as they are burning the okay. crap out of the fields below you. Oh, I'm gonna do my first reaction, which is to look in the river mirror and see how far away I am from the first dragon that's coming. Uh, you are about. Is it enough to reach my portals too? You you are you're fairly decently far from it. It's also like sixty feet long, so very far is not that far. Is it far enough it to reach jaw? with my portals? You can probably reach Close it enough? with your portals. Uh, it'd be kind of a little bit difficult for you. You have to you know roll d twenty see whether or not you can actually hit, or if you hit the seven the six things behind it or something on the ground. But yeah. It's it's close enough for you to try. Corn is currently shooting it, and it's possibly nosing. Okay. I it's having will a bad then... time. Okay, it's gonna have a worse gonna... time. I'm aiming for the wings, my dude. Ooh. I'm trying what to attack that? it. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna try like throwing um... your um thing, which I got? Oh no! I'm gonna place a portal and put it in front of where its head is, and then as the head goes into the portal, I'm gonna cut it off. You are so smart. <laughs> this is why I was a villain in the freaking... You are um, such a smart Ruby, person. Ruby chain. Multi 20 See whether or not you're able to focus on the seven different things that are going on. And the massive hey, bullets. Focus on hmm? oh, you don't have to focus on driving, that's true. But you do have to focus on the fact that Corrin is shooting a fuck you gun right next to your head. I, can, can I have some bonuses from like my... Uh, yeah, you get a plus three. Yeah, overflowing. Plus three. Plus three. Yeah, try to get above a. Uh, a, a, a and what a about? Ten. Oh, I'm scared. All right. Oh. Fuck. Nope. <laughs> this I feel like That's is going six. to be your your. This is going to be your your. You just don't be like loath trying to hit something. It's just every time that you want to roll, you just never get above ten. <laughs> No, this isn't like this on the Naruto campaign. I always get. I know 30. you get like fifty every time you roll something. <laughs> right, so you try pulling out your uh, your wonderful, wonderful uh, uh, portals. But unfortunately, Corn shoots his gun right next to your head uh, at the same time and clips one of the dragon's wings, which causes the dragon to light the other dragon the way, on fire. I, uh, huh? I have double tap. Oh, you're right. You do. That yeah. wing's gone, so, but the dragon also lit the other dragon on fire, who managed to move out of the way of your portal, because it's on fire, and screaming, and doing a barrel roll. Awesome. Yeah. Not the best luck for hey, you. Good luck for Corrin, strong. though. I kind of want to make a jacket out of them. Um, what the hell's I'm wrong gonna, with I'm going to say, tilt my head out the, out the window, as kind of like a side glance, so I'm still like focusing up front. Yeah. But kind of yell to uh, William and say, "If 
I portal us in the middle of this. Will you have a better shot at them? Um, if by in the middle of this you mean right next to the dragons, behind I them, that I won't. Oh, behind them, sure. <laughs> you can go behind them, right? Yeah, you. I mean, you could. You, the portal's there. It's now like a hundred feet behind you. Found faster. You guys going like a constant, like forty-five miles an hour. These dragons are quickly catching up to you, but they're also decimating the ground under you. Well, and one I mean, of the dragons has now probably, hit the ground. My means gun that is the, probably the, adding to our momentum. Oh yeah. It means that they're probably past the portal by now. Oh yeah, so. they're way, yeah, they're past the portal. You, you you're more than welcome oh, to yeah. like portal so, yourself and do it. Okay, so I'm gonna keep our same momentum, but put mm -hmm. the portal right in front of us and go go out through the back. All right, cool. So you managed to go uh -huh. through. It was a little bit of a tight squeeze uh, for your car. It's a little bit less good than it was previously. But you managed to teleport out of your... Um, teleport's uh, behind you? Yeah, you managed to teleport behind you, more. behind the dragons. <laughs> as you're now looking at these dragons' nice chiseled asses. <laughs> Get it's the only Get definition I have for an ass, okay? Chiseled like rock. Wait, what's that's all going I on got. Right now? Sorry, I was looking at. Uh... Sin, I've heard oh. you use very different definitions for asses. Well, you know, they're dragon asses. Okay, I cannot go into amazing detail. I can only go with that on <laughs> Warus's hey, ass, okay? Listen, you do not understand. Dragon asses can be fine. I don't want to. Alright, please <laughs> never, ever, ever repeat that sentence. <laughs> Alright, so you guys. Uh, Wars is cracking up a cold one, I think. As you guys are now behind the dragons, Corn pulled out his gun, placed on top of the, uh, the truck, I'm assuming. And just started launching bullet after bullet after bullet into these dragons, uh, which, shockingly, is... Making the dragons a little bit worse. Why did it do that twice? My mouse is... Oh, what? What? Didn't it twice for me. It, it did twice for me, but only had one number. Yeah, because I didn't see it go twice. Nope, Weird. it's not. Anyways, so uh, it was probably just the game screwing up. But anyway, so he's just shooting things at the at, at things at things, and uh, yeah, the dragons are hitting the ground. A lot of them are hitting the ground, and they're being eaten. <laughs> cool. This is, yep. you know what this means. We're the dragon killers. Yeah. Yeah. You you, you are in fact. The dragon killers. Um, so, Sin, I gotta ask, are they anywhere near us right now? Uh, they're like a week ago in your thing. But does anybody remember what I said about how the zombies are formed in this world? <laughs> From dead things? I remember. Yeah, yeah. What was the word for word I said? Does anybody, anybody remember? Uh, Every, everyone who dies. Yep, every corpse. Except... Except Everyone. those who have grievous wounds. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anything yeah. that uh, anything that's wounded hard enough uh, does. But um, these dragons aren't that wounded. They're just dead now. Uh, <laughs> can I try? Since they're not trying to attack us anymore, can I try to catch all of their like you oh know God, each of their heads? Something I can do. Oh, you can try. Shit. You can try. Uh, they're gonna start game back up real soon. But you can try to decapitate well, yeah, them. But they're not gonna be able to fly because I've been destroying what lets them fly. Yeah. Which I guess means it's probably the end of whatever village happens to be located <laughs> near here because they're gonna have to deal with a whole lot of belly crawling dragon dudes. Uh, you you could try uh, to decapitate them if you want to. Um, I, I do want to try dudes. to put portals. Yeah. Uh, you would have to stop to your car, them. though, would be the issue there. I mean, stopping Cause... the car ain't hard. I can just manipulate gravity so that we can just float high in the air. Oh, that's fair, yeah. yeah. Let's do that, then. Yeah, yeah. Okay. between okay. her portals um, and my gravity, we're basically 300% mobile here. Alright, so I'm gonna Christ. try to... Alright, so yeah, see if you that. can decapitate them or if you do something horrible. <laughs> Plus three? I don't know. That's just a nine. Yeah, yeah. So it's now eight o'clock. I don't yeah, have any pluses. Yeah, uh, yeah, we don't typically do pluses. We just uh, murder our poor innocent souls. Uh, yeah, so you attempt to decapitate them. Uh, some of them you rip out the hearts of. Yeah, I'm, no. I'm blasting out their freaking spines. Gosh. 
Yeah, you're murdering their. Yeah, he's murdering their spot. You're just like making holes inside of them, trying desperately to hit their head and failing. He's just like looking at you and looking at dry and just popping them in the head. <laughs> hey, no, it's got no brain stem. What's it gonna do to me? Die violently at me? Yeah, that's that's exactly what they're doing. I, I got mean... to go. Later, everyone. All right, uh, bye. Yep. All right, so you spend about a week or so desperately trying to get past all this thing. Makes it much easier with corn uh, floating you guys above the get whoops above the uh, the area for the most part. Where? Okay, yeah, he's he's inside of the truck now, I guess. Ah, uh, I don't I don't know what I was doing with him, but I, I now I can't grab him. On just there we go. Sorry, I am the most professional. Uh, as you guys are just, I don't know what the hell you guys are doing. You, you, you're just flying, really. Uh, as you manage to get past the horde of zombies and dragons and zombie dragons that you swiftly murdered. I don't even know how you guys managed to survive all of this. Seriously, you might be the most competent people I've had so far, which is hilarious considering uh, the fact that the heroes have successfully managed to save multiple doing. worlds. You shush. I don't know and, if we saved yeah. them or destroyed them. Let's be you honest. Saved, you saved the Pokemon when one. We, when you know. we leave the world, they go right back to where they were before we. No, nah, they just in. pause. They, they just they just pause in time. Yeah. That's kind of fucked up. So you mean they're just frozen forever, never to be continued? Yep, exactly where you stopped. Hmm. Yep. So they Which get to. Which is why you know. it doesn't matter if I steal some Febreze from the police. <laughs> <laughs> Still gotta last for a while here, but anyways. Alright, so you spend about a week trying to do that, and uh, by the time you get around to, you know, New Mexico and whatnot, it takes you a while to get over there, uh, you see another dragon who is murdering a bunch of enemies, uh, a bunch of zombies and whatnot, and you see a person sit down in the middle of a zombie horde, reading a note, pa a, note uh, a page of a note. A napkin, basically. Uh, we'll sitting next to some dude and eating some kind of food. You're fairly certain it's a sandwich, but you're not quite sure. As this, there's just a dragon like 30 anything. feet away from him. I popped out my trust, like a drink from inside, probably a soda. Cracked it, o cracked a cold one open with the dead guy, and <laughs> drank. And there's this odd sense of sympathy. Yeah. Even though I have no idea why. I don't know what Ron is doing at the moment. Ron, what are you doing? I am oh, okay. Finally, I get to play, Jesus Christ. <laughs> we had to go through the whole segment. Okay, it was fun. They got to murder dragons. It's fun. Fucker. So, here's what I'm doing. Uh -huh. I, since I'm hard into Zelda Breath of the Wild right now, I'm going to uh -huh. just breath, breath of the Wild, climb my way up the dragon's ass. <laughs> And just crawl along to its face. Or at least I'm going to try this. Do note it is like four times your size. Bullshit. That's a 16. <laughs> that, is, well, that is on a 16. You can see that. It's a 16 on one. I'm at two on the other. Weird. Anyways. So the, the, the How about you re-roll that? How about you re-roll that real quick? Yeah. Because, yeah, that, the that, dice, that, dice messed up. That's a little bit better. Still, still That's not that time. much better when you're facing off a dragon, but you know what? Ah. So you decide to climb the dragon. The dragon is a dragon. It's as a it's killing people. Do you have yeah. anything on this planet that will save you from being brutally beaten by a dragon? By the way, Sh Sh Shy is just staring at you as if she expected this all along. She's yeah, not so even. I'm, also, you can say I'm doing like Dragon's Dogma, and also, if you've mm -hmm. ever played that game, I'm just climbing up. The you can locksmith. Hmm? Yeah, I can, I can locksmith. I can, I can lock pick my way into the dragon's heart if question. I want. Unfortunately, I can't do that right now. Jesus Christ! What? If this goes horribly wrong, do I have Richard enough will. strength to carry Ron while I'm flying? You do have wings. I keep forgetting about that. You do have six strength. In fact, you have six of everything except for sense, which you have one of. So you're you're welcome to uh, fly she towards. You're currently sense. you're currently cooking inside of your 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 area, though. Okay, what do I need sense for if I'm never distracted by anything ever? I mean, that's fair. I mean, you just got, like, better hearing at the moment, but, yeah. You just, you're, you're cooking, and you can just hear Ron screaming, I'm a pounding! 
No, I'm not going to fuck the dragon. I'm going to climb up to the dragon's face. Uh, I don't know if that's any better. But the best, <laughs> I think that's better. But the, best, but the only way I can get there is because since I can't fly up to the face, I have to climb up, but up the leg, past the back, past the ass, that, and now cross the back. Oh, what a it's blub. Like someone should have got wings. Yeah. I so don't need fucking wings. I can I can fucking uh mirror's edge my way across shit. Jesus Christ. So Megan, you're just looking at this man who just walked up to this dragon. His buddy is over there drinking something next to another guy who I you look think at Megan was his and I look back at Ron. Yeah, and as uh, Ron, my name's Robin. And I'm it's not Robin. Going to yeah. yeah, Robin. As as what? Ron just starts climbing this dragon. It's currently eating zombies. As Ron is just climbing this sucker. You're just flying there with your new best friend, uh, William, sitting there. As you're just watching this guy climb a dragon. And you, you can, you actually, yeah, well, you have four cents. You can vaguely tell somebody else is inside of the bunker of God next to them as well. Mostly because you can smell food. <laughs> Like, I also have a sense to think that because they're so calm and there's, like, other things around them that aren't hurting them, that they're the ones that have started this all, but... Possibly. I mean, the zombies are starting to crowd around uh, uh, Ron a little bit, but that's also because they're, um, they're, uh, you know, it's a dragon. Uh, But yeah, just you just looking at this one dude who's sitting there drinking some kind of, you know, soft drink, as the zombies are just walking around him. Uh... It's kind of creepy. You might think it's cold. Since we're still floating, I'm just gonna stop kind of above him, mm-hmm. and then off to the side, so I can open the door and look down at him and say, like, Hey, are you okay? <laughs> so you're going to attempt to do that. <laughs> is, she going, is she gonna try to talk to Buck? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I say oh. that. <laughs> she's, just, she's just, like, leaning over, like, an open door, li- looking down, and like, Hey, are you okay? <laughs> I look up. I'm like sipping on my drink. I look at the body. I look back up. I have a mask on anyway, so even if I move my mouse, it wouldn't matter. And I just stare at her as I pull the mask down, sip, put the mask back up, and I'm just staring at this because I don't understand what I'm looking at. He's also <laughs> coughing violently. Here. Should I roll to see if I can make sense of what I'm looking at? Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a, it's a chick leaning out of a flying car with another guy who has a giant stick like a gun. You've never met her before. You're not quite sure what she's doing. And Ron is currently climbing a dragon, so you're kind of concerned about that, but not particularly. And the zombies no, are I'm not I'm not you know. I'm not going to be concerned. There's it again. This version of Buck doesn't know anyone. The only thing he knows is the name Ron, and it makes him mad. <laughs> he has no concern over Ron. He's waiting. <laughs> he was watching in anticipation for this to blow up in his face, and he's not going to help him. All he knows is that every time he, he meets a guy called Ron, he instantly hates him for no reason. Oh, you can also yes. smell food being cooked. Yeah, brisket being cooked. You can smell that real well. Yeah, yeah, I'll walk those. in there when it's done. I will <laughs> I will walk to the food when I am called. I but I just look at this lady in a floating car. I make sense of what I'm looking at, and I just stare at you. No, I can I'm looking at your engine. I'm looking how hot it is. It's fairly warm. No, I'm just looking at this every once in a while pulling down my mask sip a drink and put it back on with zombies around me, me not being concerned in the slightest, and I just tap the thing on my neck for like the dead bits on my neck. <laughs> before saying nothing else that's your that's the closest thing to a word you get from me <laughs> um, i want to say Dunham. you know i can also like speak through minds so if you can't actually talk we can like talk still interesting enough he can't but... <laughs> yeah. So you are you like are you like you just look at him? He's just like tapping it through. You just don't start talking to him in your head. <laughs> oh no! Hang on. Sin. Oh god. I don't, I don't know when he actually got this ability, but my guy is also technically. You're able to talk to Warus in your head. Uh, you also can't do sign language. Funny enough. But here's the fun. Here's the thing, though. It, it, what if I can? When she connects to Warus, she's also connected to me. 
So I'm like, hey, oh, who the God. fuck is this on this channel? Get the fuck out of here. I did not get on the channel yet because I was asking permission if I could talk to him through that channel. You're welcome to talk to him on that chat. You're welcome to just like start talking to him in his skull if you want to. Do it. <laughs> I'll look down at him, seeing that he's kind of pitifully sitting there, and mm -hmm. say like, hey, you know, you could come up on this freaking truck bed <laughs> and have maybe a better seat than hanging out with some dead people. I continue to sit there. Drink my drink, put the mask back up. I place the empty can next to me. I put my hands in my pocket and I just sit there. Okay. Uh does he have do you see, do you look like you have any ill intent ill intent to what I'm Looks talking like about? He's ill. I proceed to look at the horde around me, go, mm, this is bad. I'm going crazy. There's that thing climbing that other thing. <laughs> There's a floating car above me, and there's a lady cooking me brisket. Yep, I'm going crazy. Oh, fantastic. You know, I maybe shouldn't have had all those sandwiches, and I proceed to continue to <laughs> As he's through. talking, I'm going to portal above him, and then slide it down so it goes over him, and portal him on top of the truck bed. Look, I can see it now. Just through staticky, it's just all, it sounds staticky and stuff, but she hears another voice that's like, Hey, who the hell is that? Who's talking to... Hey, what's going on down there? Dude, <laughs> Wait, you, what? You slowly start to bring Warus onto your uh, your car as it, as you know he like lands on the the truck bed. <clears throat> if by the way, if uh, he wasn't drinking something, you could have sworn he was a zombie just from how bad he looks. He literally looks like someone ran him over with your truck, beat him with it, somersault him into it, and then had a dragon step on him. He does not look good. Oh, it's okay. I have decidedly inhuman, so I can't mistake him with a with a zombie. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, he just looks like <laughs> a really sad person. <laughs> not I, sad in the I sad way. Sad in I... the I wish you were dead way. <laughs> yeah, I just sit there blankly because I I'm registering that I just got teleported. Uh, and then, I have like, the I, sense for it, but it's like what? I'm assuming you're attempting uh, to speak with him in his head at this point. Yes. Uh, mm, maybe I think I've maybe moved on. I'm trying to try to find <laughs> that girl or or something that other mm -hmm. semblance, not the one climbing the dragon, but the one probably inside of the the bunker. bunker. Yep. You can you can see her fairly Go well. Ahead. Um she's just in the bunker making some food. You don't know what she's making, but you, you distinctly can see in your head there's bread in there. You're not quite and sure now, how you know distinctly there's bread in there, but there's bread in there. I somehow I just know there's someone else here. Don't know how I know. I just know. <laughs> question. You have has very visitors. Bad luck. <laughs> I have a question. I don't mean to interrupt anyone. Yes. You're good. But I'm sickly. Do I get motion sick? <laughs> oh god, we'll do 20. Uh. Uh, Shockingly, sick. motion sickness is the one thing that you don't get regularly. What about in this instance? Shockingly, you can feel it, but it's not it's not there yet. You you can feel it deep inside of your stomach that is just like slowly flowing up. Where you can feel you're going to hurl at some point soon, but it's just there. You know, it's 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 tolerable. It's okay. Okay. So what Not I bad. do is, did you teleport me into the car or just onto the car? Oh, the truck bed. Mm -hmm. I go and just climb over, and I just go sit on the hood. <laughs> As you well, guys I mean, are, I you know, on. I guess it's not moving. Day. Yeah, yeah, it's just there. Uh, as you guys are just saying on there, you just look at Ron, who is now on the head of this fearsome dragon who is breathing fire and boiling alive enemies in front of him, okay. ripping them in half. The okay. ground is soaked in blood it at this point. Time. It is time for me to show my worth. All right. You, you watching me, you're just realizing now, it's like, there is a guy on top of that dragon's face. You see me stand up. And I prepare a hand. I raise it high up to the sky. <coughs> it starts shining massively as I bring it down across the dragon's face. You will be my dragon. <laughs> you just slapped a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I'm using my siblings to try to to try to in one hit smack it so hard that it will want to it want to listen to me and just it, let me control it. You just slapped the dragon and it stopped. It fully stopped. Its entire body froze. Zombies are nibbling on this thing's foot and it stops. It moves its head, looks at you as you're now on its snout. Its eyes cross, and you swear to all that is holy. You think you just made a dragon mad. <clears throat> you, you think you just did. I, you, you, you wholeheartedly believe you think you just pissed off a dragon. Dragons don't get pissed very often. They kill things because they're hungry or because they're, you know, in the way. No. No, this dragon, this dragon has it out for you now. <laughs> you just royally pissed off a dragon. You can see your hand mark forming on its cheek. And which is something because it has armored scale. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the dragon... <laughs> the dragon looks at you. It looks at your friends. Or what could be counted as friends, I guess. Or it just completely ignores that they exist and just stares at one. I raise up the other hand! It shines with the light of God and I bring it down on the other side of its face! <laughs> this you dragon me. is unholy amounts of pissed. It's not moving. It's not attacking Ron. It's not even attacking the rest of you. It sits down. It grabs Ron in its tiny little fingers, and it just stares at him. You're not entirely sure, certain if it will eat him, roast him alive, boil him, or rip him in half first. But one of those will happen soon. But right now, it's just staring. You, you're not even entirely sure if this thing was originally, you know, able to think properly. But no. No, Ron has smacked consciousness into this dragon. Ron has smacked intelligence into this dragon, and it has become very angry. But it's not killing him yet. Now, Missy, you will put me down. <coughs> you really like need to be more careful with your words. Well, yeah. <laughs> It just looks at Rogan. It just shrugs. You've never seen a dragon. You don't. You've never seen a dragon before. But you didn't think they were physically capable of shrugging at this point. But it does and it listens to Ron for some ungodly reason before just dropping Ron into a giant pile of zombies. They they look confused at this entire segment. So. As I'm falling, I'm trying to do flips and stuff to better just right myself so I can land on my feet. <laughs> Hang on, hang on, I got this, I got this, hang on, hang on, I got it. Hey, As he's falling, can I just chunk an empty can at him? <laughs> I don't know, I didn't park that close to the freaking dragon, your aim better be good. <laughs> it is a lot of sense. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he is really good at hitting Ron specifically. <laughs> specifically me, yeah. He once kicked Ron off of a giant bird because he could. His aim is spectacular. No, I didn't kick Ron off a giant bird because I could. I had a mental breakdown and kicked Ron off the bird. Yeah. That's true. You managed to shunk your soft drink, which apparently you had another one of, uh, directly at Ron's head. And you just smack him right in the skull as he's now spinning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is not a very happy I, landing. If I could have, if I could have gotten a twenty, I would have used the can to let to put my foot onto it, launch off of it back to the dragon's face. But unfortunately, no. I'm Jesus like, Christ. Ah, I'm, I can see it happening in my mind, but then when I go to do it, I, it hits me in the nuts. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> you hit the you hit the ground. And this dragon is just looking at you. These zombies are just looking at you. Everyone around you is just looking at you. As Shy just sighs before she grabs her Winchester rifle. You didn't even none of you guys even realize that she was right there. She was just on top of the bunker, just kind of sitting there with a freaking hunting rifle, and just starts picking off some of the zombies around Ron. 
because he's just in his head's in the ground. He's he's clenching his you know precious jewels and crying. <laughs> hey Sin. Yeah. I want you to do something for me. Yes. This I just li- literally in a split second I came up with this new mechanic. The okay. dragon's will. I want you to roll a, a D hundred to see how how much will the dragon has. Oh, that's a good. That's a that's an interesting thought process here. Uh, hey, it has a fairly good amount of will. It's uh, it doesn't like you. And now here's the thing, though. I need to roll for my will to see if I can dominate it to do what can I want. Can you beat its will? That's it's pretty, angry pretty, at that's you. That's pretty high. No. No. Hmm. No, well, you. I, I, yep. I, so after the two slaps, I have the dragon under my control. The problem is keeping it under control. It doesn't like you. Yeah. It thinks you're a rodent. It thinks that you are particularly aggravating. Right? It keeps flicking zombies and making them explode because they keep getting too close to you. And it wants to personally kill you. <laughs> hey, either way, it's killing the dra- it's killing the zombies like how I want it. It's keeping so. you alive. You're not going to enjoy being alive, but it's keeping you alive. Mm. What? Yeah, Megan, what are you doing at this point? <laughs> I'm just thinking to myself, I've killed, w- with help, seven dragons so far, and, you know, they might be not be dead dead, but, like, why does he need a dragon to kill off zombies when, like, you know, <laughs> we could probably do it. He could totally, he has a massive sword on his back that l- kind of looks more like a massive slab of steel that he brutally beat with a stone until it decided to become what he wanted. But it's still a sword, technically. You could oh, consider it one. Nice. Of course you still have that. You've had, like, the entire time. Why would you not have it? How would it possibly not be with you? I forgot that I even had it in the first place. I've never used it unless you're counting the ruby one. That was like your entire ruby thing. Okay, I was one. I didn't know I still had it in okay, this Okay, uh, so I'll I be right back. I gotta help a... put in some stuff. Groceries. Okay, okay. Oh, wait, that means that oh, if Jesus I still Christ. have that, then that so, means... Then, Damn it. Just to remind you, it is like 9.30 my time. Mm-hmm. I'll be finishing up real soon. But yeah, okay. so... The dragon's just to... flicking zombies away from you. You guys have like a horde of zombies under you. And Loth is cooking. She's almost done. But yeah, Ron, you're just crying inside of the ground, holding your poor, innocent balls that Warris decided to so beam with a can. So I rolled to try to see if I could get rid of the of the pain and use the sword to blast myself back up to the dragon's face. But no, I'm just too busy being there like, ah! <laughs> Should we help him? So... <laughs> Both uh... your teammates just shrug. Like, legitimately, should we help him? I kind of want to watch him die. Well, this is going to end badly, but should we help him? Am I getting paid if I help him? Is Ron about to die? Probably. Possibly. Okay, I rolled for diplomacy. Hold up. I look to the dragon. I see it about to kill me, and I was like, wait! If you kill me, you won't be able to kill me. (laughs) Alright, alright, alright. Just watch Lilith sigh, pull a brisket out of the oven, take off her apron, turn around, walk outside as her wings like unravel. But here's the thing though, I think it worked. The dragon just kind of looks at you. You're fairly certain you just managed to confuse an almighty ancient being. As this just staring at you and you're so, fairly certain uh, it's about wait, to kill you wait here's the deal how about oh god hang on hold well, just like I'm walking gonna... up to you at this point as her wings flare out <laughs> here's, the, here's the deal how about this ma- ma- uh, miss dragon you don't kill me yet you work with us and then i will willingly let you kill me because if we did it now, we would have a fight, and I can tell you don't want to fight. All right, it's all confused. right. It's confused. You've caused I'm confusion. I'm rescuing you, Ron. You have no more choice. <laughs> so, 
Lolf oh, guy like picks up Ron. Hang on, I'm and you hear no. <laughs> that she attempts to pick up Ron. He's heavy. He's very no, I'm heavy. I'm a fat man, okay? I'm a real fat man. You kind of, you, it takes you, you, you're not really just... used to picking people up with your wings, so you just kind of start like trying to lift them. As the dragon starts scratching its stop. head. There we go. <laughs> so, here, I propose a unity, a unity. You work with us, and when we are done, I will let you kill me in any way you want. Imagine it. You can come up with the most gruesome, most disgustingly way. Ron, don't make promises you can't keep to dragons. That's how you actually get woman, killed. Woman! Woman! <laughs> shut up! I'm working! <laughs> The dragon looks very confused. This is just oh my god, Morris. I'm so sorry to everyone. Oh no. There's oh, brisket why? in front of me. You are holding brisket in front of a dragon. I do not find this acceptable to me. No, the brisket was on the oven. Yeah, the brisket. You, yeah, you took pulled it out, out with the brisket. You. You pulled the brisket and you took it with you outside. Taking the brisket out of the oven does not imply I'm still holding it. You never why said you were. Not? Then how is she supposed to be holding me if she's holding the brisket? Why would, she, why would it not me, imply the that the brisket, brisket comes with her? Sin, when you take something out of the oven, do you just carry it around with you? Yes. Yes. I mean, I take it out, put it on top of the oven, and then go yeah, do it. Yeah, that's what I do, like yeah. a normal person. Yeah, but you made no, like, thing of, I put it on top All of it. Right. You just said, I took right. out the brisket. You that are supposed to assume that's what she did. She took it out of the I... oven, she puts it down. Megan, <laughs> Megan, <laughs> this is... <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> when you take something oh, no, out no. of the oven, do you carry it around with you? No, you put it exactly. down so it cools <laughs> off. And you leave the oven open so that the exactly. hot air goes out of it. This is D and D. You have to specify everything, <laughs> or else it never happens. I am not holding the brisket. Besides, Do you she... have brisket on your person? No, it's on the oven. I could have <laughs> saved you, but you had. To deny no. my funniness. So Buck sits there <laughs> and he pulls out a random piece of a sandwich that has brisket, ham, and bacon. It is the best sandwich you people have ever seen. <laughs> Deal with it. And I am going to ask if there's multiples of those. And then uh, Portal one, that also, one out of his hands. Also, Megan, I pull out a second one. A jump chain. How are you doing? Leave your sanity at the door. I'm doing. I'm doing Lilith. fine. I have the brisket sandwich now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Lilith. you're gonna have them. Lilith just looks oh, back at Buck Christ. and goes, "Y'all are gonna ruin your appetite." As she goes back to trying to drag Ron off. The dragon. Hey, no, the, dragon the dragon legitimately <laughs> looks confused. The dragon looks yeah, legitimately Ron. confused at this entire segment. It, 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 Ron can just hear in his mind the dragon legitimately talking to. Ooh. So, uh, yeah, you know, how about you, um, you just take a, take like a day or two and, you know, think it over and then kind of get back to me on that, huh? You just, you just hear in your head, see, I could kill you right now, but honestly, I think it'd be more entertaining just to burn you alive, leave you alive, then, then come back like a week later and burn you again, see how often I can light you on fire. Okay, I am absolutely. I am actually surprised. I'm like, oh, you can you speak telepathy. Okay, why? All right, all right, all right. I'm dragging Ron off the back. Eleven is good enough. Ron, you're going inside. You just drag him inside, and the dragon is just like. Please, let me do this. I want to be the dragonborn, mommy. The, dra the dragon just like says to Ron's head. You can hear the sigh that it produces. A legitimate just. <sighs> Before it's like, I will come back later and eat you. All right, you know, I have yeah, stuff yeah, to, yeah. I have, I am a dragon. Do you think I don't have stuff to do? I have a life Look, man, to I'm live. I'm sure you have a lot of things to do at the moment. And you just see me just emoting as, as I'm just here talking in my mind. Everyone's thing is like, what is the fuck is he doing? 
And so I'm just like, look, I'm pretty sure you have you do have a lot of stuff to do, but yeah, come back say around um at ten o'clock tomorrow. You know, I'll, I'll make an appointment for you. We can talk this over. Maybe maybe come to a to an agreement or something. You know. Also, by the way, what's your name? Like my name is literally unpronounceable by human tongue. Uh, you are welcome to shoot Ron's car if you would. Yay! Okay. okay, well I. You just you just talk with the dragon. You just see out of your corner eye. Your car is starting to light on fire. Huh. As the dragon is just like, I'm going to go. I'm going to come back at some later point in time, probably after I've seen Australia and ate some stuff there. Do you know how awesome eating things that are let on fire with green fire is? It's like, it's like radioactive material. It's something you don't wait, get very wait, often. Wait, 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 hang on. Green fire? Yeah, you there's a giant beam in Australia. Fire. Have you have not seen... You not see it? No, We're dry. Yeah. How do you feel? Okay, well, you are feeble creatures. I suppose it just it, it makes sense. Why? How have you know I've been jumped around between different worlds at this point? I have seen the multiverse. Oh, so you'd be more tasty. Okay, well maybe this isn't helping my situation at the current moment. But still, look, how, about, how about I call you? Um, how about I call you Dulce? Is that, is that all right with you, ma'am? I literally. Don't care. I look okay, at the good. dragon, <laughs> smile as I fly away, and go, please leave us alone, he's an idiot. <laughs> oh, no, 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 wait, wait, she, Dulcie's definitely coming back later. I mean, I, ha I have business to deal with her. Dulcie? Dulcie, yeah. As in, like, Dulcie Do? No, 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 Dulcie, as in Sonic Sat AM. D-O-L-C-Y, I think. Dulcie. Anyways, the the dragon just I, I don't know what the equivalent of face palm would be for for a dragon, as it just kind of turns around and flies away, and you guys basically get to hear from Ron that he just made an appointment with the dragon to bring it back so it can eat him at some point in time. Ah, uh, that's it. Okay. So, does my riddle of bullets blow up Ron's car? <laughs> yes. Yay! Because we don't Ron's need a car is now exploded. Round car. I spell it with a one. It's a D U L C. Yeah. So, uh, the dragon flew away. Uh, most of the zombies are dead. I think. Yeah, because the dragon killed them, so they wouldn't kill me. Because she wanted to kill me. Yeah, there's my there's a. Car! <laughs> what have you done to my car? Oh, now he knows. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, okay, I think it's probably time for everyone to get off. And I'm gonna portal both of them off of the truck and then key portal me into my safe house with the truck. Can we all? <laughs> I just, I just bring Ron and Walrus inside to eat and put Walrus in front of a brisk. And all of a sudden, you notice Ron isn't there, so you're wondering where the fuck he went. And also, Megan, be prepared to have a visitor in your workshop. What the f you can get in my workshop? <laughs> But yeah, can. yeah. <laughs> yeah we, we can get into your things because I saw your border. I'm like, new person. I'm gonna see what she what she's up to. You do have a force wall, but it doesn't activate every time. <laughs> what does that mean? So you have to like manually turn it on. Uh, it, yeah, I'm assuming you decided to after a few moments, but uh, yeah, Dude, Ron's I'm kind of creepy. Guy. So once you turn on the force wall, you just see like you turn around and you just see him smiling at you. Listen. Uh -huh. He's kind of creepy now, but he's honestly gotten better since the beginning of the series. Mm. <laughs> he he like beat someone in the like... skull and stole their body and put into a cryo tube when, when we did our original time pilot. He tried photos. to grab my ass. To be fair, I'm not going to continue that. I have been preoccupied at the time to worry about that. I'm trying to dragon. grab someone's ass that you've considered your mom incest much? <laughs> Look, that was before you became the mother figure, okay? He is from Louisiana. Holy <laughs> oh, crap. I resent that. Only those fuckers in Alabama do that. I'm going to be my southern voice. We're so <laughs> mean right now. Oh, my God. <clears throat> All right, well, he's inside of your warehouse. He, you're, just, you're just staring oh. at him as he smiles at you awkwardly. I so, think it's, um, it's what's your name? I don't, I don't recognize you. 
Oh yeah, you guys have um, as, yeah. yeah, um as you portal into the warehouse it's actually very homely, as a lot of nice decoration. I mean I guess nice de decorations or whatever. It's a nice place, you know. You know. I'm, actually, yeah. I'm actually slightly jealous because my place looks just like your normal everyday <laughs> warehouse. I am actually legit mad. <laughs> Um, nice I'll say to him, um, hold my hand out for a handshake because I don't know him yet, and I'll say, um, I'm Robin. It's nice to meet you. Hold on, how do I respond? Wait, so Robin, <laughs> as in Batman? Uh, Robin, as in, um, it's actually Korean. It's just spelled, um, I guess it's just pronounced in, uh, I guess it's just pronounced in English way. Hmm. So. So, um, what are you doing with you, with your hand there? Are you trying to to to, to give me a quickie or something? <laughs> uh... <laughs> what? Look, I rolled a nine. Yeah, he he's not he's not being very smart right now. Yeah, I did that. I'm sure I'd hold that for someone else other than you, but uh. <laughs> oh. What exactly do you do? Mm, I don't know. I'm probably the main character of this entire anime S series that we're doing right now, but you know. Oh, that, that must be difficult for you. Yeah, very <laughs> difficult. It's really hard being the main character, you know? I'm not a dragon. Narcissistic, <laughs> Matt? <laughs> hey, that's his character. Okay? Y'all met a dragon? <laughs> he bitch slapped a dragon twice. Don't tell me the man ain't the man ain't an MC. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. I've already had my run-ins with some dragons, like seven of them, and I tried cutting their head off with my portals. But he, I, I mean, it almost worked. You, you just see him have a face of just pure confusion. He's like, "Why would you do that?" I had to kill the dragons. Yeah. Why would you want to kill the dragons? We can make them <laughs> our. This is my special ability, you know. I can make friends with the enemy. Well, so it wasn't available. I can make friends with them more. I mind control them, but still. Well, I mean, Wait, I didn't have you at the Ron first part. Has just been mind controlling us the entire no, time. No, I only <laughs> developed this disability in Ruby. Up until this point, you guys have. To... Hang on, hang on. Rephrasing. Rephrasing. You guys have been friends with them for this entire time, of your own free yeah. will. Your as own awkward free will, as that you is. Have been my friends. Are you sure? I am very sure. I'm Why not. else? Now look, I never had this ability other than my ruggish good looks and charming personality. I don't think well, a single member of your team thinks that. Well, I think that we're missing out on all of their lovely conversations back in the bunker. So and their food. Yeah. We're just gonna pop out. So yeah. um, before we uh, leave. Did you go through the Pokemon and Ruby Worlds as well? Uh, yes. Names, because it's not really transferred into English since I'm from Korea originally. But mm. I think I know you're talking about Pocket Monsters. God. You call yeah. them Pocket Monsters? Well, look at you, you high and mighty moon. <laughs> He's just walking <laughs> out, just making fun of you. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Christ. And then I'm gonna <laughs> tell me that you call Garnivore Sir Knight. Uh, I'm gone already. <laughs> so okay, you finally well, you, you get into out. the uh, the bunker as Ron is just I don't know getting very huffy behind you. Uh, as you see, you know Lilith has already set up multiple plates of food for you guys because she expected you guys to get in there quite a while ago. And Waris is devouring whatever the hell she puts in front of him while coughing blood constantly. Has he it's got very uh, sick. Has he got that uh that that one disease and stuff that makes you cough up blood? Because if he does, nobody nobody can near him. Ron, I'm literally I don't, just don't know what you're talking about. What is it called? Um. Uh, Death. No. Um. Uh, oh fuck. Tuberculosis. That... Tuberculosis. There we go. Someone can understand Ron apparently. <laughs> Yeah, you sure as hell can't. Tuberculosis, <laughs> because if so, he might end up dying in a few minutes. Because if he's already coughing up blood, either that or he's got um hacking cough. He looks at you, vomits to the side, continues eating, and all you hear is, "I'm glad I destroyed your car." 
Of them. You guys spent like a week in there. No, remember to my guy, the world is different. Oh, him, right. he, he experiences the world as I experience the world. So technically, two seconds in the car. Jesus Christ! Yeah, the rest because of you, the rest of them got to spend like half a week in there smelling your wherever it is, and freaking you just got to spend like two minutes in there. <laughs> But Mega, so you meet you meet Loth as well. Loth, uh, Loth is what looks to be the only actually nice person of your entire journey. Ah, uh, so I look over to uh, I am only now no truly noticing Loth, and I'm like, oh, I run over my arms swinging in the air, and I just give her a big. Well, Loth, you're being <sighs> hugged. Lilith just slowly. Heels run and backs away. <laughs> so, what have you been up to? Why do you have wings? <laughs> I've had wings since the last jump, Ron. No, I, eh? I you flew can... in the first episode of Ruby. And probably the only episode of Ruby. She flew multiple. She flew on the last episode, too. Sure, she couldn't hit Jack Daly squad and she had to dump arrows over the, you know, the castle, but she flew. She only flew two times in the entire series. All of the she times she forgot times. about her own wings. Absolutely. I never noticed. See, Megan, this is what we get. You know, you're, you're the, the ob observant one. Observant. I see this. <laughs> Basically, yeah. if you want, if you want uh, the lowdown on my guy's personality, Deadpool. Yeah, yeah, it's based Deadpool. So you guys are currently in a safe place. Uh, currently, you guys have. I I he I'm hesitant to say the word befriend a, a dragon. Um, you're fairly oh, certain yeah, no, you just may kill you later. Just sitting there eating a eating like a giant chicken leg or something. Look, I'm gonna need. Thousands pounds of meat, as much as I as we can find. I need to get on the good side of Miss Dulcy. <laughs> Imagine having a dragon on our side in a zombie-infested world. They may or may not also be werewolves here, too, mind you guys. But still. I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess you could desecrate with them with, with fire. Also, I don't want you cutting her head off, uh, uh, Miss New Girl. All right. We have a strictly no beheading dragons rule around here. No. She's already behead so many. <laughs> but if she wants to join our little posse, which apparently the voice in the sky wants us to do, all right. Uh, she's gonna if she's gonna join. She can't. She can't be killing off at least my dragon. All right. Don't don't no. Mm -mm. At least your don't one's got it. it. At least yours got it. Yeah. Jesus Christ. But also, also, if you kill the dragons, can kill I dragon. now? Don't take this the wrong way. Can I have access to the bodies? <laughs> the fact that you said that sentence makes us take it the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. So, so you guys have murdered dragons. You guys have crossed a lot of the continent. Uh, you guys have wandered every which way you guys can think of. There's a couple of seas near around you guys. Apparently there's a spider on the screen. Thanks, Warris. I, I have been going for a while, so how have you not You have been going for quite some time, but this is the spider. Has, um, <laughs> has anyone noticed that there's a lady in the freaking states? Can there's you not a, notice the dress that she's wearing? What? Yeah. Wait, what are you? The right outline on. of the states. No. What? No. Sin. Wait. No. What? Sin. Sin. No. Sin. Sin. No. Okay, legitimately, what? No, there isn't. But there is a guy in the states. At what? Least. There. Bella, hang on. Let me get. Let me get. Let me get my little painting tool, cause you see. What? Here's Ooh. his boot. What? Here's his pants. Here's his shirt. Here's his head. Oh, I and see. And there's his hat. 
right. And, and and right here is his Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna erase this massive uh, this Sick. color is killing me. But anyways, so Sick. you guys have slaughtered dragons. Hmm? Yes. What? Wendy got a tattoo. You know yeah, what it's that's cat. Sagist. No, she got another one that says Sagist. Yeah, it's the cat paw. Uh yeah, it's uh Sagist Key, I think it was. But anyways, uh I love yes. the tiny face. I don't keep the tiny face there. But um yeah, so you guys have slaughtered uh zombies, you guys have slaughtered dragons, you guys have traveled across most of the continent. You guys have found all of each other in one loving group of pain, suffering, death, destruction, and blowing up cars, because apparently that's just something you guys do. Uh, also, Megan learned how to fly. She also stole a lot from a lot of people. Good job. Yeah. I applaud you. <laughs> you guys have become a group again. Cat in the Cradle and Silver Spoon. Uh, and now you guys, uh, your next mission that you guys can, you know, assume is your next mission is, uh, figure out what to do from here on then. Uh, namely, um, what the hell started this? I'm going to befriend Dulcie because imagine it, we can use her as transportation, better transportation, at least to get to other to the other I side. I think of the, the dragon may eat you. Listen, all right. Look, I'm going to. I'm just gonna whack her with my uh, with my undenying good looks and charm, and and before we know it, I'll be in her cave and we'll be dealing with. Hang on. <laughs> you know, a normal D and D session of this would be okay. Let's find a helicopter. <laughs> Then there's Ron's version of D&D. It's like, I will seduce a dragon with my bardly ways, and I will make it fly us across an ocean. <laughs> it's going to kill you because Sid's not going to allow that. No, I'm not actually wanting to fuck the dragon. I want the yes, dragon you are. Side. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You are trying. Maybe there's a small part of me that wants to fuck the dragon. But Most of you. I want... Yeah, uh-huh. Uh, 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 the reason I picked this drawback is because I was like, okay, I have the uh, the the. I want to try to tame one of the dragons and get it on our side. That was my whole purpose of taking this drawback in the first fucking place. I mean, it makes right? sense, honestly. You yeah. guys horrify me. We're gonna have <laughs> massive hordes of zombies after us, especially because of this one here. But <laughs> fucking uh, just—he just walks outside and just like zombies just crawling around him like they're fucking fan base. Hey, I love how one of you guys like pull zombies towards you. Them. One of you guys is just resistant to so all diseases. We need a balance for this. <laughs> Besides, fuck would be the best, uh, uh, you know, a uh, uh, bait. Anyway, they don't hurt him, but he can just walk away. Take all the zombies with him, clear out an entire area, and just have, let him walk around for a bit. Then the dragon yeah. can come by and be like, "Hey, look, here's here's a bouquet, here's a banquet for you. Go eat as many zombies as you want. Just Jesus don't eat bugs, okay?" But so, uh, your next uh goal for next episode, I guess, is to find out what you guys are doing. Uh, seduce a dragon, I guess. I d no. apparently that's what you people no, want. <laughs> from Why would I say seduce no, the dragon? Ron wants that. I just want to, you know, actually have a zombie survival D and D session. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> but so that, far, that went out the window when dragons were introduced in the first place. Okay. Oh my God! I'm going to do a lot more spooky, too. scary. Hopefully, next episode. Yeah. I'm very, but very, I want very the dragon interested. On our side so we can, like, you know, have a kind of uh, <laughs> fail safe in case things truly get too bad. We can be like, DRAGON! And then just like, whoosh. Okay, let's continue oh onwards now. Oh my god. But yeah, so next episode uh, probably is going to involve a lot of you guys actually sneaking around for once in a lifetime. Uh, I'll have to find a map that actually involves that's sneaking. That's not gonna work. Yeah. Well, granted, we'll look, see what happens. I, can, I have the ability to pick any lock. You guys have a very loud person, a person that I'm surprised, a person who can fly, a person that coughs constantly, and actually efficient thief. Very Look, strange combination. Oh, yeah, and a guy who has a gun that's about as loud as a 20-ton ton, ton, ton tank. Listen, I broke into a where into a, um, into a museum, stole a fossil, didn't get caught until I got outside. That's because he was blind and deaf, maybe. <laughs> and mentally retarded guard. Yes. He's a very then, dumb guard. And then doing the so... Role? 
the roles are why I'm my character is the way he is to this day. <laughs> that was entirely Ron's fault, by the way. The magic Car the entire Magikarp thing in every uh, Magikarp instance actually, was entirely Ron's was, fault. And I am so sorry for that technically, <laughs> but I am also not sorry because it is probably our best running joke. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, next episode, you guys are going to figure out what the hell actually happened to this world, uh, possible ways to stop it, potentially dying, which is going to be really fun and to play around with. Our side by Possibly being able to, you know, convince a dragon to fly you guys without eating you. Depends on how nice you are and how much it stops thinking of you guys as pathetic rodents. That might be a little bit difficult boundary to pass. It really thinks you all rodents. Got it. Dragons... <laughs> Uh, admire strength, right? I don't so know. They mud, eat things. <laughs> I'm gonna mud wrestle with the dragon. So, it's Megan, how, how are you enjoying um, whatever this is? It's going fine enough. I'm just realizing that you know, with all my portals, I'm gonna need to start fortifying these portals. If I want to get away from these guys once in a while. Yeah, yeah. Ron and maybe is... take Lilith with me for 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 a sec if she wants to get away from them for a little bit and then come <laughs> back to them. Please. <laughs> At least Ron, two of you are getting along. This is crazy. Okay, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it's a little bit longer than we typically have our episodes, uh, but we had a little bit more time to play around with things. I know what needs to be done next episode. Huh? I need to, I need to embrace the bard. I need to find me a ladle. I'm going to find you a goddamn ditch or do. <laughs> yes, that is the best way to seduce the good to be down. Uh, you're good. <laughs> Well, do you, well, do you Ron's remember did you do? Ron's don't did you do a dragon? <sighs> oh god. Okay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, do check out in the description below all the random fun stuff we we all have done. Uh, you guys don't have to check out uh the other jumps that we have done, but I wholeheartedly please, recommend please, it if you guys want to get any of our inside at jokes. At least, at least watch the Pokemon one. Yeah, the at beginning was kind of bad, but it gets better. A more yeah, or less. It gets, you can tell when it gets better because I set a warm. Yeah, the warm pool on fire was the second episode, if I remember correctly. Um. So yeah, so it, it gets it gets real good right away. Yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. We'll see you guys on the next episode with that weird fish face. Wait, what? That 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 <laughs> weird <laughs> that weird fish face. I see the fish face. I wish I didn't. Off it is in. Adios, mi amigos. I am going to kill Ron. <laughs>